What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yo, it's another week. It's another week. Another week of us playing uh, Trails of Cold Steel over here on the YouTube channel. Another week of us playing Cold Steel here on the YouTube channel. It's a, it's a good, good time. The Adventures of Logan Schwartzer. Could you imagine if that was actually my last name? Could you imagine? The Adventures of the Bonk. Indeed. Does that sound still come through? It does still come through. Fantastic. Fantastic. Y'all welcome. It's got the Ren figure right before stream. Ren figure. What is that? You no, know what? No, no. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm not gonna look it up. Cause my luck, my luck. It's a new character design. I don't want to see it. I'll wait till later. But well, congratulations regardless. For a second I thought you said you got the Reen figure. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I've seen that one. So I think I tweeted about it and I wanted it. But yeah. But yeah. Yo, I gotta say this real quick. Before we get into the stream. Because I know people watch these streams after, you know, we go live. I get it, you know, you can't be here when, when I'm live, you know, maybe you're working for, her, you're working or you're going to school or whatever it is. And I doubt people will even see this, but just by chance, if you do see this and you do decide to comment on this video a little bit later, in case you do decide to comment on this video later, ask yourself before you hit the enter button, is what I'm commenting, do I really need to hit the enter button on this? Do I really need to hit the enter button on this? Okay, just saying, just saying, you know, you're hanging out in chat, something slips, I get it, but if you're out here being malicious with it, you know, we don't, we don't need that energy in here. We don't need it. I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say someone really ticked me off yesterday because they spoiled something in the comments and I'm just like you know what you know what this is your first time commenting this is how you choose your first interaction to be with me to be with this channel we don't need that energy over here we don't we don't need that energy over here I always need to hit the enter button I mean hey you do you port Bob I trust you a little bit port Bob because you're like super conscious about spoilers, all that jazz. If anything, if anything, Fort Bob, you and Jason Chu are like the MVPs right now. I see y'all every stream. Y'all are getting on people about spoilers. I may just make y'all mods. I may just make y'all mods. That way, if someone comes in with spoilers, you can be like, no! Get that out of here. Simp comment is a must? That's true. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Simp comments are fine, because those are funny. Right? Backwashing, as always. Cows come from milk. Oh, man, why does someone have to spoil stuff? Hope it wasn't that bad. Well, alrighty, man. I'm not gonna repeat what it was. I'm not gonna repeat what it was. But I would consider it to be kind of big. To where it's like, you know what? That's just not cool. That's just not cool. Granted, I get it. These games have been out for like, what? Six, seven years or something like that? Something like that, right? So I get it. The fact that I've made it this long without a lot of things getting spoiled is kind of remarkable. Especially being a part of, or really doing a, um, there's a big community of like gamers and stuff for the past eight years. You would think this stuff would get spoiled. It just kind of comes with the territory. I've had so many games spoiled modding the, um, well, TRG previously had a Facebook group. 
and uh, we would get things spoiled all the time in there, just being mods. It came with it came with the territory, and we're like, whatever, it's gonna happen. But um, but man, man, I don't know. It is what it is. Head pat them. We could do that. We could do that. That would arguably be more cringy and more scary than um than balking them or uh, just banning them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't repeat it. Yeah, I'm not going to. Word up, people can't hold back spoilers. I know. And let me just say this. For, for the for the majority of people that leave comments on the videos, hang out and chat, y'all are great. Y'all are great. It's just like the few random outliers that come in that do it. And it's like, what, what are you doing? Can you not read that this is clearly my first playthrough of Cold Steel? And you're like spoiling certain things like come on man come on come on we're spoilers as falcom spoiled me so i've heard i need to just not watch any of their trailers like when i go into reverie i need to just like go in completely blind i mean i'm new to these games as well but it seems to be an unsaid word about not spoiling the ser this series yeah i mean it's just uh like that's what it is you know it's an unspoken rule but i guess some people just don't know not enough people play these games to spoil them too much. It's sad, but also nice. I mean, that's a silver lining right there. That's a silver lining right there, Doc, for sure. Probably just time the mountain chat, obviously, with comments on videos is harder to deal with. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Because I deal with them. And then it's like, all right, bro. Thank you for ruining something that would have been a pretty insane surprise. Granted, granted, you know what? The thing that this dude spoiled, I don't know how it happened, right? I don't know how everything comes together to make that thing work. So, granted though, I still had a spoil. Some people can't read the room nor be reasonable and consider it. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of the reason, like that's what I was getting out of my tweet yesterday. I said I'm getting to the point where I probably can't read comments on my videos anymore just because of that. And I think people took it as like people were being like nasty or gross or something or inappropriate. Uh, in the comments, and it's just like, no, it's just, just some people can't help themselves with spoilers. And that's what it is. No one's like being mean or demeaning or anything. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm convinced that these probably aren't real fans. Like, they probably went and looked something up and then decided to make a comment. Which, if I were as petty as I was a couple years ago, I would keep. I would keep um, their name and hunt them down next time I see like they're they're playing something or really excited about something and then spoil the crap out of it just to get after them. I'm not that petty anymore because I don't have the time for that or the energy, so I probably wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do that. Most of the trails communities are really great, yeah. And that's the thing too with the trails community is like again, I started like my foot in the door with the trails community was me basically trashing the first game and people still. People still stuck with me and rode with me and were cool about it, you know? And people made comments and had really good conversations. Like, well, did you really, did you consider this part of it? Like, I actually didn't. That's a really good thing to point out. Thank you for doing that. That makes me appreciate the game even more. So yeah, the Trails community has been great. And I'm surprised they didn't, you know, completely roast me after that first, well, I mean, they did roast me, but you know what I'm saying? Like the Trails community is pretty dope. Is there any way that you can hint at what it is without saying it? Because I'm curious what exactly they said. Has to do with resurrection. Has to do with resurrection. I mean, I could read the comment because I screenshot it, but... But yeah. So, I'm going to leave it there. First OP of Cold Steel 3 spoils. Falcom spoils themselves in the game. Sure. I don't even know how they spoil it though. But I guess since y'all played it, like I could probably after I finish, I'll go back and look and be like, oh, yeah, that was clearly a spoiler. To be completely honest, just for your enjoyment going forward, I would disable comments because you never know what kind of person would just come out and spoil something. Yeah, that's something. Uh, Shaw, that's a good thing to point out. Someone on Twitter pointed out, like, why don't you turn on the hold comments for review thing? Um. 
and I might and I might do that for the streams. Like if you're here, you know, first of all, you have to be a subscriber of the channel for like two days. I think that weeds a lot of a lot of things out. But um, yeah, I think I think uh, I think that's probably what we'll do. I think that's probably what what I'll do. And I don't even know if I can do. It. I have to look at that after stream. But yeah, but yeah. Arcane Gale, what's up? Hello, chap. Need to enter Falcom Reddit and Discord to spill those spoiler passions in a proper channel. Yeah, 100%. Because I avoid those two things like the plague. Yeah, y'all know what it is. No, they didn't spoil it. Uh, yeah. 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 But again, we don't need to, like, talk about what it is, right? We don't really need to talk about what it is. Because I don't want to spoil that for anybody else in here that maybe, you know, the Cold Steel 2... That was their first foray into it, and they're watching it. I don't want to spoil any of that stuff. Granted, if, <laughs> if you haven't played the other games and you're watching me play this, you're very bold. Mildly crazy, but but very bold. You can still hang out, though. I appreciate it. I think it's good you criticize Sky FC because we can kind of agree that's not a perfect game by any means, but in hindsight, it's a fun game. Yeah. It's one of those games that, like, when that's your first game into it, it's like, man, what is this series? But then as you play further game, like as you play more games in the series, you look back on it and go, oh, I get what they were doing now. I have a better appreciation of it. But at first, man, it's it's a little rough. Some people really enjoy it, but, you know. I need to go back and play the Sky games, actually. I was thinking about that over the weekend. I was like, man, I could go back and play the, spot, the Sky games. Those were so good. Holding comments for review will still spoil it for you if I look at them. If I look at them, because the thing about holding comments for review, it puts them in a separate category that I have to like intentionally go click on and look through in order to actually see them. So. But the problem is like, again, this is just like a few outliers. The majority of people who leave comments are pretty cool. And uh, so, yeah, I don't I don't want to take that away from like the 90 percent of people that are dope and being cool when it's just like the 10 to 5% of people being turd burglars, you know? So, I don't know. It's a tough thing to deal with. Unless you're called David and like trans, where's he at? He'll be here momentarily. You've probably summoned him, Jason. Hondo said CS3 is an entry point. Did he really? He said Cold Steel 3 is an entry point? Be Rever recently and now I already started playing Curl and I'm enjoying myself a lot. That's good to hear. Entry point for trails keeps getting higher once Kuro 1 is localized. Yeah. I said that on the podcast too. It's like, yeah, you won't understand 80% of the story. I mean, yeah, I'm playing the opening. I'm like, how do you, I don't know. Unless you like, you get into comic books, right? And you just jump in and you don't really care about the context or kind of what the events leading up to it. You're just going to roll with it, you know? So I don't know. I feel like I've talked long enough though. We need to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We need, to, we need to we need to get in the game and uh, talk about it a little bit. Not talk about it. We need to get we need to get in the game. We need to get in the game. I'm not gonna lie. I booted this game up over the weekend and just kind of ran around the new uh, the new Thor's Military Academy and listened to the music and I was like, gosh, this game is so stinking good. Hurt Burglar's new Christian swear. Yeah, man. Make that an emote. Entry point. Make oh wait, I heard that new party. That's why it's considered an entry point. But I don't agree, Kuro be a good entry point in the future. CS3 does a good job explaining backstory, to be honest. It's still better to play the games in order, 100%. The best way to get the uh, most optimal level of enjoyment, 100%. 100%. Absolutely. And y'all, I remembered to switch the scene this time. Isn't that, isn't that great? I actually remembered to switch the scene this time. But y'all, let's get into it. Let's get into the game. Let's have some fun. Whoa, that's real loud. Where we last left off, we were at the new Thor's Academy, checking things out, getting used to the new Class 7. Some would say the new and improved Class 7. It's a little bonkers. But the more I play this, the more I might wind up agreeing. Uh, I might wind up agreeing. You take the perspective of Yuna in New Class 7. They need stuff explained to them, so they're a player and stand. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. 
Sky who? Sky okay. you? Okay. Sky me? What? Sky who? The Kara One leaves a really great impression of the new engine and all the mechanics. It's probably equivalent to the high of seeing CS3 graphical and gameplay upgrades. Dope. I was excited then. But y'all, let me know if the audio sounds any good. I know some folks were saying that the audio was a little too, uh, the music was a little too low, so I bumped these up a little bit and kept the, vo the voice volume up uh, pretty high. So if, it, if it's too loud, let me know, I'll turn it down. But I think it's, I think you should be able to hear the music better now. Kevin Hoomst? Kevin how? Kevin what? What's a Kevin? I'll do you one better. Why is Kevin? Dude, we'll talk with all the students, so maybe I'll head back to the dorm now. It's the name for my well, direct well, book. If it ain't instructor Schwarzer. The grand. You're He's from Combat Tactics. Seeing you work so hard is really inspirational, you know? Ash Carbide. Okay, I haven't seen that last name. Ash Carbide. I'm in Class A, Combat Tactics. Let me pause right here, by the way. I finished Red Moon Rose over the weekend. And I'm very intrigued now. I am so freaking intrigued. Music does seem kind of low to me compared to your mic, but we'll see how the rest of the game sounds, I guess. Voice volume and the English localization always seemed a tad low for me, too. Seeing issues, I suppose. Really? That's so weird. I wonder if it's my... Well, no. I wonder if it's my capture card. But no, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it Looked out. like you were really going out of your way to help all us students. You're just a stand-up guy, ain't you? Guess I should have expected that from you. After all, you are a national hero, Ashen Chevalier. I'm just a new instructor who's fresh out of school himself. I've heard about you from Instructor Randolph. Sounds like you've got some pretty impressive skills. It's good to meet you, Ash. I'm sure I'll see you in some of my classes and during training exercises. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. By the way, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How's it feel? Flying around in your big gray doll, being the government's lapdog? <laughs> Pardon me. Man, he's got his own, uh, what's the word? It's not like angst, but. Hmm? One of the girls from military finance. I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know what the things are. As long as you don't talk over the dialogue, it's fine. Okay, fair enough. I can, I can definitely do that. First impression of Ash, of Ash so far? I gotta be honest, I like him. I like him. He's got like a bite to him, you know? That thing where he said like, you know, how's it feel to be flying around your big gray doll being the government's lap dog? It's like, interesting. Do we know where Ash is from? Has he said that yet? So I think that's gonna play a role into like, how he, uh, how he is. If you're a part of one of these classes, would you say I'm from class seven or I'm from class seven special operations? I feel like I would say the, the, what is it, the latter, the former? I don't know what those are. I think I would say like I'm from class seven special operations. Like it's a little mouthy, but you know how cool that is to say I'm from class seven spec ops? Like, he hasn't said yet, we don't know yet. Okay, okay. I feel like that's gonna play a role into it too. So I'm real curious about that. Her again. So I have a feeling I'm going to like Ash a good bit. Or I may not, I don't Hello, know. Ash from class eight. Instructor Reen. Like I said in the last video, I'm like, I'm just going to let these characters cook. I'm going to give them time because I, I learned from playing the um, Cold Steel 1. It's like, let these characters cook. They'll grow on you, you know, and then you got into Cold Steel 2. And it's like, holy crap. You two seem to be having so much fun chatting. I couldn't help wanting to join in. <laughs> I was just about to leave. I'm looking forward to Panzer Soldat training next week. How about you? What does he mean by that? Oh dear, did I interrupt something? Oh, no, not at all. Hmm, 
You're from military finance, right? <laughs> I'm Reen Schwartz from the Backwashing Club. That's right. I'm Yusei Egret from Class 9. Do you remember me? I'm in your fourth period history lessons. Yeah, I remember. I've heard about you from Instructor Toa, too. We're not that far into the school year, but it's already clear you're an outstanding student. <laughs> you're making me blush. Nope. To tell the truth, I've heard rumors about you as well, Instructor. Never met people who dislike Ash? Okay, cool. That, see, again, like, I'm, I'm gonna let these characters cook. I'm gonna sit back, let them do their thing, let them grow. I've always thought it would make me so happy if I could get to know you better. Y'all aren't kidding. Y'all weren't kidding. I'm gonna get massive use out of this bonk button. Good grief. But yeah, we're gonna let these characters do the thing. We're gonna go through the story, and then I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna let these characters cook. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. In your fourth period history lessons, yes, me say. So is everyone at the school. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> morning i'll drop my obligatory work lurk hope everyone had a blessed weekend dude tyson it was so good man hope you had a good one as well thank you for the lurk man appreciate you i see well i'd recommend taking those rumors with a grain of salt be ready to hit the bonk button every time you say talks by the way <laughs> she's the character i warn you about great i mean this button's gonna get worn out hmm? oh i don't mean all that gossip about the ashen chevalier the rumors I've heard are about the old class seven, your sister, and even the princess. Oh my gosh, she watched the last, she watched me stream this game, guys. She watched me stream this game. She watched me stream Cold Steel 2, she saw the backwashing things, and now she's like, oh, I've heard the rumors. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Might be worse than Angie now that I think about it. My first impression of Muse is bad in Cold Steel 3. Oh man. What? <laughs> Even he's like, what? <laughs> well, I should be going now. Good day, Instructorine. She knows about the backwashing. I hope we have a lovely school year together. Dude, she just screams trouble. She just screams trouble. Oh man. It's going to be quite a year. Yeah, it is, Reen. Yes, it is. I mean, I might need to go get more coffee. She knows about all the backwashing. Yeah, man. <clears throat> she watched the last stream. She knows. I'm probably going to be saying this a lot, but can we just like soak in the fact of how good this game looks? Like, I know it's like an older PS, maybe not older, but it's like a PS4 game, but like, I don't, I don't know, man. After you've played the last, what, seven games in the series and then you get to here, it's like, good grief. Looks so good. Boys, uh, is that intentional? I, I might be intentional. She's the backwashing club's executive. She's like the CFO of it. She's like the CFO or C, whatever one, I don't know. Two weeks in now, history and combat training class has been going well, but next week we have Panzer sold out training and the special lessons. Should be all set for today, but it'd be, I'd better go over everything again tomorrow just in case. They're probably back at the dorm by now. Couldn't get their notebooks to them at school, so I should at least try to hand them over by the end of the day. Should also help out any students struggling to find a club. Branch campus enhancement. Depending on your de oh, deepening your bonds with the other faculty members can increase the branch campus's enhancement rating. In fact, there are hidden events this very evening that will increase the enhancement rating. Enhance the branch campus facilities through quests and conversations with 
faculty members. Ways to enhance dorm bathhouse events. Please tell me you just clean it. Faculty quests. When you've raised the enhancement rating enough, your academy grade will increase the next time you report a quest. You'll get valuable items as a reward for ranking up. Okay. Give class seven their notebooks. What? Oh, oh, hey, hey. There's re reflections in the mirrors now. That's cool. I think someone pointed that out in the last stream, but I don't know. It's I think I must have missed it. That's pretty cool. Randolph. I mean, I think Randy's OK with it. We can just go right in, right? Michael, Major Michael's room. He's always so busy. I probably shouldn't bother him at night. Okay, no one's in there. No one's in there. Aurelia. Principal Le Guin's room. I talked to her after school, so there's no need to pester her now. You're just going to stand there. You may as well come in. So it's no use trying to hide from the golden Rakshasa. Rakshasa. Are you using a guide to get the top rank on each chapter? There's a lot of hidden stuff. Yeah, I pulled up a, uh, a non-spoiler guide that I use for Cold Steel 2. Um, there's one for Cold Steel 3, and I have that uh, that I'm going to be using as well. So uh, we'll use that. YouTube doesn't let me know when you are streaming Discord either. Sometimes the notifications are delayed, at least for Discord. You might want to check and make sure you have the bell icon clicked on the on the channel, David. We were talking about you earlier. All good things, but uh, you know. Animations are the only thing they still really need to work on at this point. This is why starting later in the series makes it that much harder to go back. Yeah, because then like you got to go deal with old graphics when you're so used to the new stuff. Musei is a good character eventually, like most Trails characters. She's also a reference to a character in The Legend of Heroes 4. Same as Yuna is mostly uh, Yuna from The Legend of Heroes 5. Interesting. Logan needs to schedule streams on YouTube so that it pops up in subscriptions before he actually streams. I forgot I could do that. I'll start doing that this week. I forgot I could even do that. He was telling you that backwashing is canon. Ah, crap. <laughs> Reem will go in Randy's room, but he goes right into Principal Mommy's room. I see. Well, technically, he was invited in. Like a vampire, right? Right? Huh? Huh? Is Reen a vampire? He's not a vampire. But still. Once you get into the rooms, check the items they have. Every character has personal items in their rooms. It's a nice detail. I'll check that out. Considering this is the Countess's room, I'm actually a little surprised how Spartan it is in here. Noble of Erebonia should be stalwart and vigilant. Any more luxury than this and I'd go soft. In fact, it's my opinion that the main campus dorms are a bit too luxurious. Though I hear they are reviewing how they sort out the dormitories over there. Principal, are you? Yes, I suppose I never told you, but I too am a graduate from Thor's main campus, so that makes us fellow alumni. So many big names graduated from Thor's. Major Claire, Prince Oliver, and even him. Seeing as you're my dear little junior alumnus, Feel free to come visit me at any time. Check this out. Can we view the sword? No. The sword is so cool. That's one of the things. So, like, when it comes to, like, the weapons in this series, there's some that are really... Like, they're just designed really, really well. And they look cool, too. Can't mess with the makeup or anything. Ah, she, too is a bit of an alcoholic. Okay. But like her and Sarah and... Hold on, I just realized Sarah and... Was it Shara? Very similar names. Anyway, what is this? Can we read this? No. I can't really see what it says. Okay. Fair enough. Toa? Oh, that was a machine gun. But no, it's just a pair of binoculars and a telescope. 
was like, Toa, why do you have a machine gun? Switch to all notifications instead of personal instead of personalized. Weird, apparently I missed something. Shoot. Yeah, the personalized notification setting is really weird. Like it it might as well just not even be on. I've noticed that when I've because I've done that with some channels where I'm like, I only like certain videos they put out, and then it just doesn't notify me of any of them. It's really weird. Feelings mutual. That reminds me, do you have any plans tomorrow, Toa? Afternoon, I'd probably be in the Academy's medical office. The off chance something happens to one of the students, I want to be on standby. It's really considerate of you, but I'm happy to fill in for you if you want to. Absolutely not. I've got it covered. Not one machine gun, Toa. <laughs> Besides, Rin, you've been on your feet for the past two weeks. If you're not working on campus, you're patrolling the dorms. Take some time to yourself, relax a little. Maybe we finally check out leaves. Guess I can't argue with that. The town is still pretty much a mystery to me. Sounds like your plans for tomorrow are all sorted out. Still, if you do need me tomorrow, you can find me holding down the fort in the medical office. You bet, Toa, and thanks for always looking out for me. Toa is like... I don't know, man. So in Cold Steel 1, I was like, whatever, Toa is Toa, right? But that scene at the end, wait, does this not reflect? Uh, okay. Yeah, someone mentioned that Reens is the only one that has the reflection. But since like that, that scene and what was it, the epilogue for Cold Steel 2, I'm like, dude, Toa is kind of a sweetheart. Like, like, am I on team Toa now? Because I don't know. Sydney and Kurt. He's rooming with a kid from class eight. Oh, instructor Schwarzer. You're Sydney, right? It's Kurt in? Yeah, he just got back a few minutes ago. Hey, Sport, you got a guest. How about we don't make that my nickname? Why not Sport? He knows weapons quite a bit and how they differentiated her from Lloyd. Yeah, those uh, gun batons are pretty cool. Did you need something? Actually, you're the one who needs something. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> I don't know why I read that. It's like, did you need something? It's like, no, you need something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wanted to make sure you got this by the end of the day. Side note, let me ask you all a question real quick. Have any of you played the uh, Atelier series? Because they had like, uh, like all the games, well, the Rise of the Games on sale on PlayStation. I picked the first one up because I'm like, all right, it's a JRPG. I'll pick it up. Are those any good or did I like buy just a really bad JRPG? Only knows Toa is a sweetheart at the end of CS2 and not the beginning of CS1. Toa is just the best girl. Port Bob, y'all know that I have the memory of a goldfish, man. What even happened at the beginning? I know she took his weapons, greeted him, was nice to him. Did she do something else? It's quite good. I like Riza a lot. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Played Atelier Sophie. Because I was watching... um, Because you know how, like, on YouTube... I don't know if you guys... I don't, maybe you don't know this. Like, when I go into my analytics, I can see what other channels... Uh, people watch my videos, like, similar stuff. And I started watching... Um, what's this channel called? The Kisaki Nut? I think that's his, I think that's his name. And he, uh, he did a video where it's like seven, it was seven cozy JRPGs to play. And I was looking through them and like Atelier was one of them, but he put like Sophie on there. I was like, well, Sophie is like 60 bucks and Riza is 30. So I'll just try that out. Thiza, are you into crafting and thighs? I mean, what? <laughs> what? Are you into crafting thighs? What? I mean, I like crafting things. What do thighs have to do with it? Is crafting the game some like it more than others? I would personally rate Riza 7.5 out of 10. It was an enjoyable, lighthearted experience, but I haven't played 2 or 3 yet. So chill, you can break the game if you know what to do, but it's also fun to just go in blind. Yeah, Kisaki Nut. He's, I mean, I've watched several of his videos. I, I dig them. I dig it. I like his videos. I've been watching several of them. His uh, most expensive JRPGs videos like are always mind-boggling to me. Riza's getting into alchemy is quite fun. Tell your Thiza. Riza is often called Thiza in the community. Really? 
<laughs> I guess I'll find out when I boot it up. I mean, I booted up the other day. I mean, I, I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. But now that, now that y'all pointed it out, that's probably going to be all I see now. Reason is often, uh, there's basically two types of tell your gameplay with time limit or without time limit. Two shared one brain cell there. <laughs> I describe it. Tell you're super comfy and cozy. Not a game I feel I need to binge and complete all in one sitting. That's good. Riza also rhymes with Thiza, Thiza, whatever. Oh my gosh. Denigears will always have a place in my heart for RPGs. Yeah, I still need to play those. I need to see if that's on my uh, my Vita. I think Denigears one is on my Vita. But yeah, okay. I I was just curious because I watched that video. And I was like, I haven't played those games, but I've always seen them. So. Figured I'd try it out. Don't expect much storyline in Atelier games, though. Okay. Adapted into an anime this year? Interesting. I might check out the anime, then. I have to wonder, why didn't you just give us these when we were still on campus? Sorry, I had some trouble finding the time earlier, but did you just get back now? Were you training the whole time? It's great. You're such a hard worker, but be sure not to overexert yourself. No need to worry. I know my limits. If anyone needs that advice, it's you, instructor. Understand you're busy, but you'd be well served taking some time to hone your eight leaves, one blade techniques. Thanks for the advice. You're absolutely right. I do need to make some time for it. Sorry to bother you so late. I hope your free day tomorrow treats you well. <laughs> it's kind of funny how uh, his kids roast him. Next up are Yuna and Altina. Their room should be that way. I guess I'll head over. Is he pointing over here? Dark and Wayne? Ash and Gustav, Pablo, Kyrie, Freddy, study room. Looks like most people have already decided on a club. I have a few ideas myself, but you're still looking for more members? I can always help you out if you'd like. Thank you, but I still have time tomorrow, so I'll try to handle it on my own. Are there any books here? No? Okay. Got over here. Sandy, Tatiana, Valerie. We're not going in there. We're not going. Yuna, Altina. Here we go. Guess this is okay. I hope they aren't too lonely without me. Is she referring to her siblings? Nina's not here. I want to talk to both of you. She went off downstairs earlier. So did you need something? Right, I need to give you this. Sophie Alchemy is the best in my opinion. Interesting. Well, I mean, if I if I really like the games, I'll probably go back and play those. Green handed Yuna, her student notebook. I don't like grindy games, and it seems pretty grindy for farming mats. I'm sure it's more or less grindy depending on the exact game. But yeah, if you want to turn your brain off and do stuff, it would be pretty comfy. That was good to me. That's kind of what I need sometimes, is just shut my brain off and just kind of goof off in a game. Shouldn't you have just given them to us tomorrow at school? I mean, isn't it kind of sleazy for a male teacher to be dropping in on his female student's room in the middle of the night? Figured since tomorrow is a free day, it would be better for all of you to get these today, but when you put it like that, maybe I should have waited. In the middle of writing something? Sorry to interrupt. How did you... Well, you're, yeah, you're kind of holding a pen, you know. <laughs> Just going over my notes from today. I'm not going to lose this. I'm Erebonian when it comes to studying. I'm glad to see you're so serious about school. I'm sure tomorrow will be busy for you, but be sure to give it everything you've got. I don't need a reminder. I give everything my all. Do you need me to give Altina her notebook too? No, that's okay. This is my job. I'll go give it to her myself. Thanks and sorry to serve you. Good night, Yuna. Thanks for taking the time to bring it to me. See you tomorrow. Again, just going to let these characters cook. I bet Yuna's going to come out and be like one of the best characters. Anyway, Altina's the final one. She so should be on the first floor, but I suppose I'll go look for her. What's up, Space Yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> Space Yogurt, I don't know if you play Marvel Snapper at all, but uh, there's a uh, like an avatar title you can put on your your name that says uh, Yogurt Son. 
And uh, I don't know, man. It just made me think of that. That's a cool name. I like it. I like it. Definitely a farming game, as you will. Oh, really? Uh, I may or may not like that then. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll check it out, though. I'll check it out. Nothing beats a nice long soaker. You plan to have a bat? No, 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 no. Green, get out of there. Oh my gosh. They don't even look alike. I keep them off when I'm not at school. It's fun not seeing things too clearly sometimes. It's fun not seeing things? Can't say we exactly see eye to eye on that. Anyway, can you see without your glasses? Of course. I haven't mistaken an object for a person yet. Emphasis on the yet. Why 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 is there an icon here? Why is there an icon here? It's pretty spacious considering it's split between boys and girls. I've got some time now, so maybe I'll wash up a bit. Need to do the bath scene? It's not what you expect. Oh gosh. Yuna's pretty boss. Working outside chat last stream, still had eight hours before I was let in. Great to finally be able to participate. Great that you're here. Bathing is how you increase support. Do it for the content. Do it for the content. I can turn the screen off if I need to be. Or if I need to. He's got pants on, right? Okay. Okay, he's got a towel on. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> heated well water as opposed to the natural hot springs in a mirror. Even so, I never would have guessed the dorm would have such a nice bath. Oh, gosh. Y'all, what's about to happen? Also, is my camera blocking Randy? <laughs> It is a trap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. Is my camera blocking? Okay. I thought it was blocking all of Randy and I was like, that makes it worse. Hope I'm not bothering you. No, it's a problem. He's pretty well built. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 10 times more. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. Brain spanking new campus, dorms in a mansion, fancy baths. Erebonia is one ritzy place for sure. I think the branch campus here is a bit of an exception. Not even the main campus had a bath like this when I was a student anyway. Did hear they made some modifications this year. It's like you really work out, but what's the story with that big scar on your chest? All right. I actually don't even know when I got it. It's been there as long as I can remember. It doesn't hurt or anything either. I guess I shouldn't talk about other people's scars when I've got plenty of my own. Now that you mention it. You have quite a few scars, don't you? Not to mention a really nice build. What is it about bathrooms, man? Male bonding time. This is how people bathe in Japan and stuff. Totally different than here in the States. Oh, 100%. I know that. I'm just always leery, though, because it's like it's anime and you never, like... It can, it can go south real quick. Reed and Randy have less nipples than Mario. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I am an ex Jaeger. Those things kind of come with the backstory. I can't, I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. I don't watch my mirrors, but you know about my past anyway, don't you? Yeah, I won't deny. I got some basic info from the intelligence division, so I don't know the little details, but I shouldn't be in here too long. I think I'll head out now. Oh, me too. Is there steam coming off of them? Received a bottle of coffee milk. Had in the fridge. This is my way of saying sorry for my bad manners earlier. I still can't believe I I still can't believe I freaking thought that was Gaius in the last stream like what oh my gosh like how did I oh my gosh 
Between Reen and another character, they'll both have their CP restored by 100. Alright, so that's a thing. That's a thing in the game. I guess that's what they meant when they said, uh... So I'm kind of skeptical, I guess I'll just have to give it a shot. I think this is what they meant by raising the reputation things. Why is it so Is it so close because my character is that close to him? Like Wayne, my guy. Personal space. Kind of intense. Like, Wayne was, like, right up on there. No, it's all Tina. This is just cool to have Randy here. It's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. I'm curious if he's, like... Because he's gotta still be with the SSS. I wonder if he's, like, doing some kind of undercover thing. I don't know. It, it's really... It's definitely fascinating. Bond over their scars, see no biggie. Yeah, it's fine. Guys, Orlando. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Win, bro, Orlando. It's worse than Tatiana thing in Reen was Randy. Just wants to get a close-up. There's a chance you might encounter a funny texture bug when you have your camera too close in battle. Oh, really? Wait, what kind of texture bug? Green Hand and Altina. There are many blank, page, <laughs> blank pages. What is their purpose? You can use those pages however you like. For notes in class, your club schedules, even as a diary. Whatever you decide works best for you. What I decide is best for me. You alright? Just a little tired. I wasn't aware educational institutions required so many decisions to be made on a daily basis. I'm starting to think I had an easier time back when I only went on missions. That's so. Like I said after school, if you need some help deciding your club, let me know. I'll be there to back you up so you can make your decision at your own pace. Dude, I'm so curious about Altina's character. Takes care of all the student notebooks. I should head back to my dorm before it gets too late. Which version has a bug where it pops in their heads and shows their eyes from behind for some reason? <laughs> You mean like when Assassin's Creed Unity came out and that's all you saw was like their eyes and their mouth? You figured out your club? Is it cooking? Yeah! Same club Nicholas, Margarita, and Million were part of back in the day. Now that I think of it, you two are the ones who always volunteer to buy the food, huh? This cooking club would be a good fit for you. What got you interested in cooking? My family owns a tavern, so I grew up with cooking. My parents were off traveling a lot when I was younger, so I cooked for myself a lot. Get the feeling that's not the whole story, Tita. Seems to me, seems to me like there's someone special you want to cook for. I mean, why do you? <laughs> I'm sure, you'll have a good time together. I'm glad you were able to decide on a club. I'm looking forward to seeing what you make. I buy some time and we'll be happy to share. Yeah, we'll do our best. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so this is the storeroom. I don't like there's anything in here. Does this go back out to the hallway? Okay, it does. No problems with it. See you tomorrow. Look forward to it. Eavesdropping. Oh, you're so naughty. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> you're talking about your clever ass. I'm going. Oh, thanks to your tender, loving care instructor, Reen. Well, I didn't help out quite that much. I her always throws me for a loop. That's what I figured. I figured it would. That's kind of why I went and talked to her. <laughs> How to cook. Altina become... A what? Wait, is this where I go? No, that's the wrong room. That's not my room. Where's my room? <clears throat> there it is. Now the notebooks are all passed out, I'm done with work for the day. Should I head back to my room and rest? Am I, is there anything, is there anything, um, anything that I'm missing? Was there like another side thing I was supposed to do? 
Obviously that bathhouse thing was there. I don't think I'm missing anything, but y'all can let me know if I am. I don't think there's anything on my... I think all this stuff is three day stuff. Horror show? make a counter I think I can uh, <clears throat> I think I can make a uh, work on that after stream say round of seven hello reen can you hear me oh it's elliot oh it worked the connection went through just a sec let me turn the video on long time no see reen well i guess it's only been a month since we last talked but it's been four whole months since i've seen your face before all that, what's going on with, with my Arcus? <laughs> this was Prince Oliver's doing. He gave you your Arcus too, right? The special program we're using right now is called an app. Oh my gosh, the Arcus units have apps now. Yep, crystal clear. Did you get taller again? Your birthday is coming up soon, right? <laughs> Congratulations on graduating, Reen. From the sound of it, there were a few issues, but I guess everything's all right now. Well, thankfully. You graduated from your music academy for just last month, too, right? Let's do this Discord call. <laughs> no, this is obviously Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I started earlier this month. Can you imagine if they had Discord in this universe? I mean, the app, obviously, they have a lot of Discord already in the world. I was hoping I'd be able to see you in person, along with Machias, of course. Hmm. I can definitely see him going there, but it's like he's putting himself in a position to go up against his dad. I'm a little worried. You remembered? <laughs> well, it is a school. Toa is also an instructor, right? Anyone else I know working there? Get this, the principal is Mommy. Mommy Le Guin? No way, Reen. That's so cray, dude. You get to work under mommy? Such a weird sentence. I don't even know why I went that direction. It just makes it sound kind of cringy now. Not doing that again. Oh. No more principal grandpa, now principal. <laughs> it's only 9 a.m., huh? I bet most students are out and about for their club activities already. I should head out myself. Really talked up a storm last night. Team Lee Prince Oliver set up a communication network just for class seven. Huh. 
like a whole family's brewing here. All right, first off, I should check the streets by the station. My first free day as a teacher, time to get started. Now for the waifu wars, oh no. About bonding events. On free day, special events can be triggered with students of class seven and certain other characters. These are called bonding events. One point will be consumed each time you view an event, but your bond with that character will be strengthened. Note that all unused points will be lost when the story advances and the time of day turns to evening. On the evening of each free day, you will receive one bonus point, which can be used to trigger one evening exclusive bonding event. In three days, you can use bonding points to participate in bonding events with characters marked by a yellow exclamation point. It allows you to improve your bond. Different bonding events will be available during the daytime and evening. The evening on your free days, you'll receive one to two additional bonding points. Okay. All right. Well, let's just uh, go on the free day then. Who's in here? Okay. Okay, so you can do a bath scene, which is totally awesome. Go series had real world apps. Reen, yo fam, what's crackle like? And today we're busting some baddies for real, no cap. <laughs> no, he would get on there and be like, What's up, Zamuria? It's your boy, Ring Schwartzer, back at it again in the land of leaves. Today, we're going to be doing some bonding events and side quests. We're just hanging out. Smash that like button. S-Craft the subscribe button. <laughs> That's what he would do. That's what he would do. Trails of the chill gaming segments, 100%. That's what I like about it. I've grown to appreciate it. It's the first time I've come here during the day and it's a really nice place. Should order something. So your HP, EP, and CP by resting at the end. Also you can try a recommended dish to learn its recipe. Randy, what's up, dude? Here for a drink too? You're not drinking drinking, are you? That's not what it looks like. Guy in my position can't go around knocking back the hard stuff. Well, not during the day, at least. I'm telling you, it's not alcoholic, but the atmosphere makes the drink, you know? Daisy, pour me another. <laughs> kind of like he's already a regular here. Is he doing it on purpose, or maybe this is just how he always is? Flame smash the like button. She hasn't caused any trouble for you. Oh, absolutely not. She's even making time to help out at the school cafeteria. She's really bailing us out. Sorry she's only able to help you during the day, but I'm glad. I heard the school is really short on staff members. <laughs> Isn't that most schools these days? <laughs> Daughter of a tavern keeper, so she can get pretty rowdy, but I hope she continues to be helpful. Such a nice person. I've heard that he takes extra good care of the students. I'll have to thank him for that. They give you good items eventually? Okay. I enjoy the slower parts of these games. Yeah, I've come to really appreciate them. Piled onion rings? Holy crap, that sounds awesome. Dude, onion rings sounds so good right now. <laughs> Whole big fuss in town back when they started construction on the academy. And I hear you guys are shorthanded on account of how much of a rush job it was. I know she's only there during the day, but hopefully Gina can help lighten the load a bit. Oh, don't you worry about us. I'll just have Daisy give me a hand. Glistening onion rings. Sounds good. Mr. Instructor person. <laughs> Don't you work with Mr. Randy? Randy, oh, do you mean Instructor Randolph? Yeah, he told me all his friends call him Randy. Mr. Randy is so funny, he always makes me laugh. Seems he comes here often. Well, actually, enjoy yourself here, Mr. Cool Instructor. <laughs> my, my, my name's Reen. Dude, the local beer here is the best. Oh, hey, aren't you that hero guy? Are people just casually drinking at 9 a.m. in the morning in this game? 
a lot of people know about me. I mean, I guess I kind of expected this. I mean, look, I'm not judging, right? You, you do what you want, but uh, I'm just a little surprised is all. Just a little surprised, that's all. But hey, I guess it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Sure you have the uh, <laughs> the tomato head on? Okay. I'll put that on every time I cook. How's about that? Ooh, nice. I'll right, show you around leaves, even though I don't know the place. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know, but he's, <laughs> he's just like he's a student here. You ladies need help with something? Just leave it to me. I don't think those girls are locals. Did they go out of their way to come here? Then he's got some guts to go up and talk to them like that. <laughs> That's funny. Do I have... Here we go. Oh, just take it to where it leaves. Okay. I haven't even looked at this, uh... This here. What was that? Glasses. Oh, okay. New class seven. Huh, okay. And the other stuff is unavailable. Okay. Of course, he's already become a regular there. Yeah, he's a sociable dude. No shade. Sometimes at 9 a.m. on a Saturday, I may or may not be enjoying a brew or two while I'm mowing the lawn. Hey, I mean, dude, if you're mowing the lawn and doing, I mean, I'm definitely not judging that because there's something about it. I, I hear you, Tyson. I hear you. I hear, here we go. Is this a fishing club? Is Muse part of the fishing? Is she, is she going to be part of it? dorm invasion because there's no one in the room yard work and beverages go hand in hand dude they straight up they do i i hear you on that one man kids from the east on fellow mind if we have a chat real quick sorry for calling you over out of the blue aren't you an instructor from thor's new branch campus not to mention the famous ashen chevalier an impressive young man, so I'll give you this. I'm sure you'll make better use of it than I. This fishing rod is the latest model from the Lake Lord Company. Oh, are you a fisherman too? My friend from school was in the Imperial Fishing Club, so I've dabbled a little. Caught all the fish in the last game. <laughs> no big deal. You know, so the Imperial Fishing Club is the pride of the Lake Lord Company. When I was younger, I traveled all over the continent of Zamuria. Use some of my connections to join the Fisherman's Girl headquartered in Liberal. Was this character in the Sky Games? Fisherman's Guild. They're like the Imperial Fishing Club's rival. They used to hate each other, but now they're on good terms. The fishing gear I gave you was recently given to me by the Lake Lord Company. Even so, I can't accept such an extravagant gift. No, it's fine. I'm just doing my part to spread the love of fishing. In fact, if you can fish more and teach your students how, that would be great. Fishing could be a good facilitator for communication. You take this too. You the fishing book and... Five bait. She's in the market for the reen fish. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Fishing's different in this game. Gets its own side story. That's freaking awesome. If you do it all, well, Umbral, I will definitely be doing it. I will definitely be doing it. You just spearfish with high-tech laser weapons? Dude. <laughs> what? Rod was not in the Sky Games? Okay. JRPG rule number one, need fishing minigame? Dude, yeah, absolutely. You gotta have a fishing minigame in a JRPG. I'll catch all sorts of different fish, and I'll have prizes lined right up for you. We've got a few nice spots to cast from here and leave, so fish away. You deserve a little downtime too, don't you think? Also, if you bring me some fish, I've got a variety of items to trade for them. Feel free to come back into Neo Sui and Neo Sui Anytime you're here, okay. You got it, thank you again. 
And it's funny because I used to like, I used to hate fishing in these games, but then I don't know, they started growing on me. I'm like, this is this is really chill. I like it. I like it. You can exchange your caught fish for items. Buying fishing gear will make it easier to catch fish. Okay. Well, dude, let's go see if we can find some places. Chartarine, good morning. It's so nice out today. Good morning, you say. I'm happy you remembered my name. I'm jealous of class seven. If you were my homeroom teacher, you'd call my name at... Oh my gosh. What it... Suppose I'd have to? Anyway, you seem to be doing your shopping pretty early today. Yeah, some of my military finance classmates and I decided to establish a tea ceremony club. Kyrie, Maya, and I split up to prepare for the club. You picked a club already. That was really quick. Reminds me of... Sorry, it's nothing. Just have fun while you're doing it. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. Please come visit our club room soon. Once I'm done with my errands, maybe I can help them. No, Reen. Run far away from her, my my guy. <laughs> what the heck? There are the shops near the station. Okay. Wait, we just went into Barney's, right? Boutique club pin. We're to instruct your student relationships, man. I uh. Go get Tiger Heart in Chapter One. Is that a fish? Oh my gosh. Seems to be a privately owned clothing store. They have clothes for both men and women as well as miscellaneous goods and stuffed animals. This might be a good place to get a gift for Elise. You purchase clothes, shoes, accessories, and gifts at the boutique. You can buy gifts at various stores. You can give them to people to increase your bond with them. Many gifts are only available for a limited time, so it's best to buy them whenever you see them. Okay. We might have talked about this already, but are these penguins... They're not from Disgaea, right? They don't even look like the penguins from there. But it just, whenever whenever I see the penguins, I think of Disgaea. I heard that a military-related school was going to be created. I was really worried, but then a really cute and small instructor came to say, hi, maybe I was a little hasty. <laughs> Marcus saw Toe and was like, never mind, this is great. Oh. White silk kerchief. Black kitty ears. Red hair for Reen. Dye that turns Reen's hair a passionate crimson. Nylon parka. Light shoes. You can give Reen red hair. I don't think I have anything to sell though. Yeah, I don't really have anything to sell. Okay. Don't worry about that later, I suppose. This outfit is nice, but even if I got it, what would I even wear it for? How long have you been standing there? Sorry, I was just trying to sneak up. I wasn't. <laughs> I was not trying to sneak up on you or anything. You decided on your club? Well, not really. I'm starting to think that being on the student council, like the principal said, doesn't sound so bad after all. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Wait, anyway, it's not something I want to talk about with you. Now, if you'll excuse me. She's quite the ice queen, isn't she? Fitting at least considering she's from North Ambria and all. The Kia Penguin, that's right. Zoe franchise, okay. They're Miscibles, Crimson, Chevalier, you have exchange, exchange. Wait, can I, could I have exchange in the shop? I didn't even see that. Oh, it's literally right there. Okay. And these ones here are the gifts, right? Yeah, it says right here. It can be given to Elise as a gift. Okay. I don't want to see what his hair looks like red. You know, I don't hate it. 
Because now he kind of looks like Adol from uh, from East. Yeah, we're leaving that on. We're leaving that on. I actually kind of like that. A bit of mirror cheat you can do right now to be good the whole game, but don't think you'd want to do it first playthrough. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Every time Ring goes up to a female, they are suspect that he has ulterior motives. Yeah, it's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like with uh, Lloyd a little bit. Feel the head pass from a mile away. They, they sense it. They sense it coming. They're like, nah, we... Like, we, we know. We know, Mr. Headpat. Also changes eye color? Really? Yeah, because Adel's eyes are green, aren't they? I'm Googling this real quick. Adel Christian. Well, that's not how you spell it. Oh, that is cool. That's really cool. Do you have an outfit that makes him more Adol? I don't think so. I can look. Somewhere the size of the one in Trista. I haven't had the chance to stop by since I started working. Maybe I should take some time to pray. Where is... No. Okay. No, I think I just have these. Okay. No. That's definitely not. That's definitely not ease. Okay. Maybe later. That's pretty cool. Are they doing Sunday school? All right. Fair enough. Welcome to the Lee's Chapel of the Septian Church. Oh, it's you. This is the first time you've come to worship, right? I've been swamped with work. It's okay, but you need to take a break every now and then. It's weird because... You know, we're talking about like, oh, dude, Reen is Logan. And like they're saying like he needs to take a break. He works too much. He's self-loathing. I'm like, dude, maybe, uh, maybe Reen is me. He's a teacher. I don't go around patting people's heads, though. That's that's a little weird for me. Able shipwreck, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> it, cause isn't that the thing in like all the games? He his ship is always getting wrecked. Because I know that happens in a uh, Memories of Salsetta. It happens in Lacrimosa of Dana. It's just like, dude, you can't catch a break. Books and games? Yo, what kind of tabletop games you got? Better not have no freaking Catan. The name implies it sells books and a ton of toys to boot. Seems like a pretty nice place. Purchase books and accessories here. Some books will automatically be registered under book notes and can be read anywhere. Dude, this is cool. I like this touch. Obviously, the one with trains is Ticket to Ride. Even though it looks like it's called Wind. Probably got some card games. Yo, this is cool. These are the kind of shops I hang out in. Like, if I go somewhere and there's, like, one of these shops where I'm at, I'm going to go into it. This is cool. This is the talk of the town. Good morning. Are you here to get some teaching materials? This should be everything you need. Came in just this morning. Makes things easy. Wait, what's with this box? This one's mine. It's a new board game. I've been dying to get it in the second it came out, so it must have gotten mixed in with the rest. My bad. Board game, huh? So like chess, right? And they may not be very popular throughout the Empire, but there are many more board games besides chess. We also have plenty of card and puzzle games. I used to play a card game called Blade. Nice, I used to play Blade a lot too. Another card game has gotten really popular lately. I'll show it to you next time. If you're really into games, it must be your hobby. Please take this as a token of our acquaintance. Heartless Edgar, Chapter 1. It's a newly released fiction novel and a pretty good read at that. I hope you enjoy it. Well, thanks for this. A novel. It might be good for a break. You have other books? What other books do you got? Proverbs Swift Wind. 
pocket sized book filled with proverbs about wind that imparts swiftness. Is this written by uh, guys? Imperial, Imperial Chronicle. Board game called My Wind. Had away the receding hairline. Need to give the gift you bought in the menu. Trade you some for break. Dude, I played Catan like twice and I hated it both times. Hated it both times. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where's the items? Just clear that out. This one here? You just hit use and it sends it? Send Elise a gift. Hope she'll like it. Oh. Easy enough. Huh. Cool. Okay. I didn't know you could just do that. That's cool. Collect the proverbs. I think I've got the lay of the land now. Alright, I'll go back in here in a second. Capua. Wait a minute. <laughs> Reen, why'd you put your glasses on? <laughs> what are you doing? Pretending, they're, pretending that you're Batman? They're addressed to places I've never even heard of. Do you have any idea where Thor's branch campus is? Hold on a second. Isn't a... I... Kappa was from Sky. Because they were originally bandits, but now they're like a delivery company, right? Isn't that isn't that right? Hands like that in a shop, buy them and save them. They all trade for awesome things later. Okay, that's good to know. Two other places I can't find. I have other deliveries to make today, too. I'm not going to make them at this rate. Even standing here talking, I'm running out of time. Is there any way I can help? I'm actually an instructor at Thor's branch campus. Really? If you help me, that'd be great. It'd be no trouble at all. Play trails to find out. <laughs> Said there were three places you couldn't find. The branch campus aside, what are the other two? One is the Neon Valley Exchange, and the other is called Radio Trista. I don't know if they're new or what, but I've never heard of either of them. Oh, and the package for the branch campus is going to someone named Sandy. Get these three packages to their owners. Radio Trista, huh? A lot's happened since back then, but I certainly never expected to hear that name here. Didn't see Sandy at the dorm, so I'd better check around the campus for her, and it should be easy enough to swing by the exchange shop. All right, got him. Thanks. I've got to go make my other deliveries now. So in order to confirm the packages are received, can we meet back here when we're both done? Works for me. Now view the quest tab in your notebook. Key quests have a rec mark next to their name. Quests with a time limit of short will vanish from your list and you will be unable to complete them. Now use square to go to the branch campus. Why can I not go down? It says deliver the packages. Oh, it's main. Here we go. We need this. Sandy somewhere on campus. I guess we can go find Sandy real quick. Oh, wait. I was going to get that thing, wasn't I? We can get in there. There's not anything to exchange, is there? Do I even have enough? No. Alright, y'all remind me to come back here and buy that. Um, how do I... There we go. Does it show where... No. No, it doesn't. Go to the front entrance. Let's go... That's not Sandy, though. I don't think so. Oh, it is Sandy. No, okay. I don't know these characters' names, apparently. Just going to waste. All right, then. I'll take care of this spot as part of my club activities. No rush on this one? Okay. Is 
thinking I could use this spot to grow some fruits and vegetables. Not a bad idea. So just this morning, Freddy from Combat Tactics said he wanted to join the cooking club too. He said he'd show us his cooking this evening. Anyway, I'm glad to hear things are going well. Have fun, you guys. Let me know if there's anything I can help out with. Alright, I almost forgot. Something the matter? Yeah, there was a delivery for you. <laughs> Thank you. There's a guy here so quickly, but with this, I can start planning today. Pretty to tell you the truth, I've had my eye on the spot for a while. I had my shovel and gardening scissors sent here from home. Can you really farm in this game too? Okay, so there's that one. Um, back to leaves. So we go straight from the plaza and go to the right too. Okay. Are those like landmines in the display case? What are those? What shop is this? It's got such a shady vibe mm, to it. That's weird. Could have sworn I put the RPG launcher in here. Hmm. I leave it sitting in the shipping container, maybe? Gina in the cafeteria? Okay. Oh, you a customer. Welcome Jingo. to the exchange shop, Nine Volley. You want bullets? Pills? We can get pretty much whatever. Why does Jingo sound familiar? It's pretty heavy. Explain the situation hand Jingo the package. RF gun unit I got legally. <laughs> like I should made a point to say I got this legally. The way she said that, does that mean she gets things illegally too? Probably. This was an exchange shop, right? What is it you exchanged? The, the goods, of course. Looks like you've been through some tough battles. Okay, you pass. I'll let you buy off the black market menu. I can also offer you some weapons eventually if you like. This is way too shady. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, dude, Jinko sounds really familiar. She was... Yeah, she was at the counter and her mom was like, well, I'm just remembering like a closer to the end of Azure. Her mom was off the left of when you went in because she's working on some shelves and then gives you like information about, I can't remember what it was. Huh. Interesting. So she's off doing her own thing. Main stores and crossbow. This is okay. 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 Yeah. Now. Yeah. She was like a little kid in, in that, right? Hold up. She's 12? Dude, she looks like she's older than that. Huh. Man, that's crazy, dude. Like, I don't know, man. Kate to Olivia off the, in the roof, off the rooftop. That's right. <laughs> yeah, she did do that. <laughs> That's cool. Man, it's just like an invasion of crossbow characters now. How about that you can also find items you missed during the story by checking the bargains, so stop by every now and then. Okay, so it's like Mix Shop uh, in Trista. That puppy sitting out front yours? Talking about Cerberus? The name. You notice his potential, huh? Not bad, not bad. I found him a little while before I came to this town. Second her eyes met, I knew that pup's gonna make a killer hunter someday. Just you wait and see. Anything, just let me know. I might be able to help you out. You're pretty weird for a customer. <laughs> sure, if I ever need to get rid of the shadier merch. That's funny, man. You know, check bargain bin, bargain bin, a shining palm droplet. Want to buy something? You got here leather guard, leather boots. Got uh, different accessories. Come on, buy some more. Wanna buy something? 
Okay. Come on, buy some more. Money's money, so shop away. I got some black market items in the back too. That's funny. That's crazy, dude. That was like microwaves or something? Toasters? Little ovens? That's cool. I don't know, puppy's supposed to be a guard dog or something? Pretty cool dog. That's wild, man. All these crossbow characters are coming in. Am I supposed to go into Barney's? No, 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 no. I'm supposed to go into Trista, Radio Trista. This it here? That's a private home. It's like a side quest? Son Armin hasn't always been this healthy, but he's been getting even better recently thanks to being able to play with the other kids. Should be grateful for Zach, Tom, and Cheryl. What about Yuna, I'm sure someone mentioned she was in Azure, by the way. This one released by Nisa, she can be found in the police academy. Yeah, someone mentioned that in the last shop. I meant to boot up Azure uh, over the weekend and, and uh, see if I could find her, but I didn't do that. The Life of Tomatonio Part 1. Upon a time, there was a tomato named Tomatonio. He was proud to be born a tomato, and he strove to be a great tomato so he could achieve his dream of being eaten one day. Tomatonio worked hard every day to make his dream a reality, and the farmer raising him continuously gave Tomatonio words of encouragement. I'm so proud of you. I hope you can grow up to be a delicious tomato. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Lazy tomato mocked Tomatonio for his dream. Working hard is so not cool. It's much cooler to slack off. Tomatonio ignored the lazy tomato's words. There's also a skinny crow who quarreled with Tomatonio since the day they met. When the crow would come to steal tomatoes, Tomatonio would proudly share his dream, telling the crow, one day I'm going to become a delicious tomato dish and make people happy, only for the crow to mock him and reply, even if you made it to the market, you'd either be left unsold on the shelves or go straight into the trash. <laughs> Despite these words, Tomatonio was determined to accomplish his dream and no one could break his will. Harvest day arrived, Tomatonio's heart filled with anticipation, for he'd been waiting for his whole life for this. Soon, however, the clear sunny sky became covered by dark, ominous clouds, and the winds began to blow. It was a typhoon! All the other tomatoes were helplessly blown away by the powerful winds. However, Tomatonio desperately clung to his vine with all his might. I won't give up until I achieve my dream of being eaten. Somehow, he managed to survive the stormy night, and when morning came, the typhoon had started to dissipate. Tomatonio was relieved to have survived, though he was quite upset at Harvest Day being ruined. He then felt something strange about his body. Filled with dread, he looked down. Oh no, his once plump, brilliantly red body had been devastated after enduring the storm. <laughs> please tell me there please tell me there's more to that book. Please tell me that's just not that's not just one chapter. <laughs> oh man on today's episode of veggie tales yeah, dude. <laughs> dude what a crazy story deucin what's up man good morning to you dude some markers are for books okay book is clearly important plot wise Somehow similar to some square pumpkin story my daughter was watching, probably. <laughs> oh man. I wonder what happened to the guy who was working at the radio station. So you came to me. Who's that? That's uh crap, what's his name? Monk, yeah. Huh. I was planning on coming to talk with you. I didn't expect you to find me first though. Why does he sound like he's been smoking for several years? Welcome to Radio Trista. It's been a while, Reen. Is he playing poker just now? He's got the sun visor on. I would have offered you some tea had you been seated. What business do you have with us today? Explain the situation to Monk. Reen handed him the package. You haven't changed at all. I can always count on you for a story to talk about on the radio. You haven't changed either. What's in the package anyway? 
What's in the box? We don't have the capital or manpower. I've been fixing the minor issues on my own. I'm surprised to hear that you're now the director. it has been working hard. Trying to sell a show is really hard, but I think this is the best career for me. Have you completely abandoned Trista? Well, yeah, our building is still there, but I've been feeling increased pressure from all directions over the past few years. Anyhow, I'm really happy to be working in the same town as you. Yeah, me too. There are two things I want to tell you. All right, then tell me already. First off, can you go visit the chapel after your deliveries? Who knows, you might just run into a certain someone over there. Okay. A certain someone? Could he mean no way? Another thing is that... Who was it? Rosine? Was that her name? Is that there's going to be an interesting show on Radio Trista tonight? It starts at 9 p.m. Strongly recommend you listen to it, and I mean strongly. What is it, Aubin time? You bringing that back? Sorry for taking up your time. No, I should... So sorry for dropping an announce like I did. Talk to you later, Monk. Let me give you my Arcus contact info. Huh. Better head back to the station. That's really cool. That's fitting for him, because he was always glued to the radio in uh, Cold Steel too. He's so icky, he's like some introverted, hard-working dweeb. <laughs> my name is Lindley, like Monk. I started working here this year. The two of us don't get along at all. This girl doesn't hold back. I think Monk is pretty disgusting. The two of us don't get along at all. I bet you by the end of this game, they're gonna they're gonna be dating. They're gonna be together. I can almost guarantee it. Crazy crossovers are what the trails is all about. Yeah, man, working and lurking. Know nothing about this gamer series, but happy to hang out, dude. Appreciate the lurk. Monk's voice is something. Sounds exactly like I expect him to sound. He's been working on that radio voice by smoking three packs a day. <laughs> yeah, Space Joker, that's what he's doing. <laughs> How else would Monk get these crazy conspiracies? That's a good point. Why does he put his glasses on again? Let's deliver the last one a few moments ago. It looks like you were able to get everything where it needed to go. And I wouldn't have been able to make it if not for you. You really pulled me out of the fire there. I'll make sure to get here earlier next time so this doesn't happen again. I'm sure it's rare for so many new addresses to pop up at once. In spite of all that, everyone was happy to get their delivery sooner than they expected. What's your guys' secret? Actually, we use a light airship for transporting packages. We're ready to see a private company using an airship in Arabonia. Yeah, we're the only ones who do. We're fast, we're reliable, you can always count on Capua Delivery Service. That's wild seeing that name again. Keep you guys in mind the next time I need to send something. That famous Ashen Chevalier, aren't you? Oops, I should have figured you'd notice sooner or later. Pretty surprising to hear that someone like you became a teacher. Man, I've got to head out to the next delivery ASAP. Thanks again for all your help today. Uh, AP and instructor ranks. Earn through completing quests, making appropriate decisions. If your AP passes certain thresholds during a quest report, rank will increase. You'll be granted a reward. If you only enough AP, your rank will increase. There are 15 ranks ranging from G to S. Okay. Steve Brave Seed. Told me to go visit the chapel once I was done with the deliveries. Guess I've got time to poke my head in. All I need to do is take up smoking. <laughs> Give David the full service. Trains, bonks, head pats, backwashing. Yep. Sunday school is over. Yes, goodbye. Be careful on your way home. It's Rosine, right? That was... Because she was with uh, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for coming. How's your Gross Ritter training coming, huh? It's been some time, Reen. What's Thomas up to? Hmm? Boy, Monk was talking, I thought someone I knew would be here, but I never expected you of all people to come to Leaves. Why didn't you come say hello to me? Sorry, it's just that I've been so busy I didn't have the time. Besides, Monk told me it would be better to surprise you. I'm happy to see you again, though. This takes me back to when we were both students. I remember you always helping out at the church in Trista. Seems like so long ago, doesn't it? Now you're an instructor at Thor's Branch Campus. You're following the path you set for yourself. Someone who's rooting for you from afar. I'm happy for you. Second among the Dominion, in fact. I stand at the right hand of our leader. 
and am known by some as the Partitioner. Can you imagine people playing this after having played Cold Steel 2? They didn't do New Game Plus. They get to this and they're like, wait, what, what was this? Where did I miss this? But you already know my real name, of course. I've never hidden that from you. I am and shall always be Thomas Lysander. I'm a squire, tasked with supporting him in the execution of his duties. You could say I'm an apprentice knight of the Grelsritter. I think I understand your reason for coming to leaves. It has something to do with that group you're part of, right? I'm guessing those records I found play a role too. Talk about it some other time. I don't know if you'll believe me, but I was looking forward to seeing you again. Regardless of the mission that was given to me, my feelings are sincere. I don't have any reservations about helping you. Change contact info and decide to meet again soon. Huh. Please let me know if there's anything at all you need. Time to duel. Let's go to the game store. No way I'll lose. Beyblades! I can think of when they said duel. The kids are at Sunday school earlier, right? What's this card? It's from that card game that's been getting quite popular all across Arabonia lately. I always see the children playing it during recess. It won't be fair. It won't be a fair duel if they're missing this. I'll go bring it to them. Very kind of you. Thank you and good day. Oh, you didn't see, uh, didn't see the hidden scene. So early in the game too. Yeah, it's time to. Do, 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 do. Isn't that Yu-Gi-Oh? I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in forever. Holy crap. That game's they're still they're still doing that game, right? Like people still play it. Such a cool game. Don't you mean Hugo? <laughs> Zip it, Jason. <laughs> Don't you mean Hugo? <laughs> Do you want to play too? Not exactly. I found this. Is this one of your cards? Oh, that's my Blinks. No. Blicks? Wondering where it went. Thanks, Mr. Reen. And it's like the Vantage Masters card. You want to play? I'll teach you how. Vantage Masters or VM for short is super duper fun. I don't see why not. If you're a beginner, I guess you don't have any cards. We could let you borrow ours, but I have a gift for our friendly instructor. It's a starter pack. This is make me want to play Yu-Gi-Oh now. Are you sure? Of course, I've been handing them out to people that I think would be interested in the game, like these kids here. If you end up finding it fun, come by my store and buy some cards. See a few Vantage Masters cards. Now then, can you teach me? Before a match starts, you'll choose which of your decks you'll be using. For this tutorial, deck one has been set up for you, so begin the match with options. Okay. I'm trying to look at these the character arts and see if I recognize anybody. I think I do though. Okay, let's start. Coin toss will decide which player goes first. Look at this looks like it's set up like Hearthstone. Please select which cards to redraw. Oh about cards right there. Earth, water, fire, heaven. Light can act that can wait. Card can act the same turn it was summoned. Can it attack all rows, front and back. Attack card text. Cards leave play at zero each pay zero HP. Yeah, this feels this feels like Hearthstone. If you like the cards in your starting hand, you can choose which of them you'd like to redraw once. Pay attention to the mana cost, the green circle on the upper right of the cards. This says Hearthstone. That's got four, one and one. When this card leaves play, draw a card. I mean, that seems good. Look, did we get rid of this though? You need four mana to play. Only got to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards because my parents only know about Magic the Gathering cards and I wasn't allowed to play those. Were your parents like afraid that magic was uh, like the devil's thing? Let's play the Falcom's game, Vantage Masters. You probably won't recognize the art. Okay, gotcha. 
mean, I'm just thinking of like how you play these on curve. I guess we'll hold on to these just because I don't really know. Oh, okay, it wants me to get rid of Blix. Okay, so we can actually play things on curve. Cards in deck, enemy, enemy field. There's HP, mana pool. Cards in deck, player field. Player, round number, attribute square. Okay, so you can see that at all times. Reduce the HP of your opponent's master to zero. Play your cards wisely to come out on top. Start of each of your turns, you'll draw a card from your deck. You'll also gain mana as resource you spend. Play cards, the amount of mana you gain per turn will increase by one every turn. Okay. First turn only, a magic crystal will appear in the random space for the player who goes second. In your turn, you can summon cards onto the field and move cards to different spaces. Use these commands as well as your card's unique effects to defeat your opponent's master and win. Cards with glowing green borders can take an action. Try out every card to see what it can do. Creatures and Vantage Masters are known as... What is that? Is that Natials? 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 Gosh, I don't know how to spell this. You can be summoned from your hand to any open space on your side of the field. Player the front row and back row on their side of the field. Most cards can only attack from the front row, so it's better to summon them there. Try summoning the front row. You'll remove seal from target. When this card leaves play, draw a card. Defends adjacent cards to the left or right. Play that there. Mana is used for a number of different actions. Summoning a card from your hand, using a spell card from your hand, using your master's skill. Most cards cannot perform actions the same turn they are summoned. They'll be able to take action starting the turn after. Glowing green border means a card is able to perform an action. Make sure you have all your cards act each turn. Okay. We've got one mana left. Put that one there. And that's all I can do. I don't have any mana left. Okay, that does a close up. Okay, kid, geez, you're like moving everything around so fast. Target gains. That card is a spell card. Playing a spell card will immediately activate its effect. Spell cards require mana to play and are discarded after they are used. Target is a fire attribute card. It gains attack plus three. Spent way too much time getting good at this. Took me a bit, but I got into this. It's kind of mildly important to do. You could have moved your master in front and attack with it. Oh, I didn't know that. Do stuff until they're summoned. Okay, fair enough. See what we got here. So you can move these up. So we've got three mana. You can probably do target gains attack plus two. Those aren't fire cards. Well, they just boosted theirs. Why don't we boost mine? There's two to one, but that's blocking that one. Four different attributes, earth, water, fire, and heaven. Damage dealt will differ depending on the matchup. Okay, earth beats water, water beats fire, fire beats heaven, heaven beats earth. Okay. So that's earth, beats that, but they're guarding that. Water doesn't beat that, so I guess We'll tag this, just see what it does. Cards can deal damage to each other. The attacker deals damage equal to their attack, while the defender deals damage equal to their attack. In your deck, the fighter has an ability that increases their counterattack damage by one. Okay. Oh, we can move again, okay. Move to any space on your side of the field. Use an already occupied space, the cards will swap spaces. Moving to the front row lets you attack enemy cards, but it also means you can be attacked. Be sure to move carefully. Okay. Let's try that.
Okay, so that does that. Move seal from target. When this card leaves play, draw a card. Put another one of those out there, I guess. Magic Crystals are special spell cards. Target of Magic Crystal receives a plus one attack and HP, and the card's owner gains one mana. Target is a initial. It will be able to use its skill again. Okay. Got Blix. Every three rounds, a magic crystal will appear in a random empty space on both sides of the field. These crystals have the same effect as the magic crystal spell card. Top of them will grant this effect. Okay, so if I move something on top of this, it gains HP, attack plus one, and you receive mana. We'll do that. got four so let's put that out here I guess and then give blaze oh, I don't have enough mana for that okay they don't really have seal on anybody though so I guess can I perform more actions okay so I'm done Jeez. Oh, and it's in the back row, so I can't really attack, can I? Okay. It's sort of four mana. Bends adjacent cards to the right or left. Move there. Attack. Okay. Do blaze, boost that up. Not enough mana to summon. We don't really need seal. And tear at the arena up. I don't know if I can move her in the back row though. I'll just leave her up there for now. Okay. Probably where form actions next turn. Huh. Might as well get oh, I didn't see that I could place them. I should have done that. Probably can't move, can you? No, dang it. Okay. Wasn't even paying attention. Good grief. All right. Find stuff like summoning sickness from magic and have rush if they can act immediately. Dang. Dang. Okay. I guess just summon it here. Well, I don't know. I don't really want my... I guess I can move the fighter back. Or can you attack? You can't attack that. Remove seal from target. There is no seal, though. What if I just end my turn and there's only one thing to attack? You can't attack the back row, right? Jeez.
Oh, it can attack the back row. Crap, I didn't know that. Oh boy, all right. I guess put that here. Attack. Normal cards can only attack from the front row, but range attacks can attack from anywhere. Additionally, if a card attacks more than one row away, it cannot be counterattacked. All right, well, go ahead and hit that. Well, that's not going to be good. If I attack that, minus eight? Good grief. Seems like a really bad idea. Well, okay, it looks like I'm stuck there anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, whatever. If I, if I lose, I, I lose. It is what it is. Okay, let's put Blaze on you, and then attack from far away, and then finish it off with Fighter. Man, you're good. There we go. Which is what I should have done before. So don't use the range ones as, okay, okay. I understand a little bit better now. I'm gonna put so much time into this <laughs> this freaking game. Is this is this why y'all put so much time into into Cold Steel Three? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Real is what makes Vantage Masters fun. I see what you mean. The strategy aspect is pretty interesting too. I might get addicted. Always here for when you want to buy more. I think that way better than Blade. I did not like Blade. That game I actually like. I might I might spend time playing that. I thought you'd have muscles all over and be three hundred something. He's not he's not Major Armstrong. You have about monsters that fit that description. Plan a. Let's do this again sometime. That's cool. I like that. You can press R2 to challenge characters with the card icon to a card game. You can alter your deck before the game starts. Card note menu has been unlocked. You can view detailed information on VM cards from the card note menu. That's cool. Briefing starts at 3. I might be a little early, but I should head over to the tactical conference room. That's pretty cool. Add maybe several hours at most, gotcha. The RPGs are so funny. Here's a full game to play within the massive game you're playing already. Yeah, basically. Backwashes, Blade is way too... See, that's what I didn't like about it. It was super RNG and I hated it. It drove me nuts. I didn't, I didn't really... I spent probably like... 30 to 45 minutes one day like trying to understand the game and get good at it. But it just... I hated it. Hated it. it was, I didn't. I wasn't a fan. Gina's quest. When you get the witch vantage masters, becomes a joke. You just stop edging us and do the Musei bonding event. Hidden quest. Can I go do those quests now? Does it even show up on the map? Alright, I guess so. Is there... Can I do the hidden quest? Let me pull this up. Hang on a second here. I probably can't even leave town though, can I? It says a hidden quest is in like some town. Probably leads to Heimdall. I don't really need to head that way at the moment. Okay.
Masters is cool, but the cards they give you break the game so easy. Oh, really? You're in the difficulty curve, but the cards they give you four and then again in Reverie. Okay. Leads to the Lemaire province. I don't really need to head that way at the moment. Okay, so I can't really leave town just yet. Gina in the cafeteria. You go to the train station, which being able to just casually do four damage on the fly and also a bunch of starting mana. I'm just stack all the highest cost cards. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, The campus. Cafeteria. I do. What if some hungry students come by? What's wrong, Gina? Director Reen, I'm running out of a certain spice that I need for my recipes. I underestimated this number of students that would come on their day off. Well, free day isn't quite a day off. I'm pretty sure it'd be a busy day for the clubs in the cafeteria. Completely misunderstood. What should I do at this rate? I'll run out of food by the afternoon. You can just leave to get more. Anything I can do to help? I'm on patrol right now, so I should be able to find stuff for you. It'd be great. Can you go grab the spice for me? It's called Star... Huh. What does it start? Uh, yeah, that one. I know what it is. He's at our tavern. Father should be there now. Can you ask him to give us some? I think it's pronounced Star Anise, but that's not how most people pronounce it. That is not how most people pronounce it. Where's the this one here, right? Or was it the... No, it's this one here. Wants to keep staring at Reen's hips in slow mo. Heck yeah, guys! Come on, look at these hips. These hips don't lie. You want me to run? How's about I walk instead? Look at that. Look at that slow sway. Look at that. Look at that. The slow sway. Total, total ladies' man right here. Come on now. You want me to just do this all the time where I'm just like zipping around super quick? Not the flash. Wait, what does that look like with turbo mode on? Oh gosh, that is nauseating. Since this morning, there's one in the afternoon too. Rules of trails always wash your back all the time. So without doing them, you can't get the best accessory in the game. All right, all right, all right. I'll head over there here in a little bit. What do you like today? I'm actually not here to eat this time. Reen explained that Gina had asked him to come get some Star Anise. It's for coming. Just wait one moment, I'll go get it for you. He doesn't have any, does he? I'm sorry, Reen, I don't have any. Whole crowd of students came in earlier today, looks like we ran out. I'm all over town, do you happen to know where I could get some? Should be able to get some at Neo Sui An. Or Neo Sui An? I don't know how to pronounce that. Come on, I'm already here, so it's on the way. Thank you and my apologies. No problem. I'll head over. Look at this. Look at these hips. Look at these hips. Trade if you're going to like this game since you didn't like CS1. I thought I. Did I say I didn't like CS1? Or do you mean uh, Sky First Chapter? You play the fish this game by next year, you'll start running. Usually play these games in turbo plus running most of the time, especially in grindy battles in the field. Really? All right. You all say it's as slow as it is. I'm using turbo always outside of cutscenes and running. Okay. I'll check it out. I don't remember saying that I hated CS1. But I like Cold Steel 1. So I'm gonna go look up my review. Did I say I hated it? I can't remember. Seen animations a million times turbo mode and skipping animations is a lifesaver. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's a good ingredient for soups and if it helps improve your circulation, or it does help improve your circulation. Got plenty in stocks to take these with you. One for the school, the other one for the tavern. Exactly, now you wouldn't mind dropping them off, would you? 
Because you can put that stuff in making, like, pho, right? Watch animations for the first time and then boss fights? Yeah, that's understandable. No problem, really. Here you go. Use all you need. Give Gina the bag of spices. I can get back to cooking. I was really worried that I would run out. Would have been an absolute disaster if I couldn't feed everyone. Students are still growing, so it might be best to have some extra in stock just in case. Or you go a little something for all your trouble. Spirit incense. For all your help today, instructor. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I liked it. I thought I liked CS1. I'm at a point where like, I'm just kind of chill with these games. Like I'm along for the ride. It's kind of like when I read Brandon Sanderson's books, it's like, I'm just gonna let the guy cook. I know the slow burn's gonna be worth it. You know what I mean? Just how I roll. I don't mind them. Okay, so we did that. Was there another one? Someone said there was one in the train station. That's not where I wanted to go. Someone said there was one in the train station. This is the leave station. I don't really have any business here right now. Oh, okay. So we can't do it just yet. All right, since y'all are asking from you, say, here we go. Get it up and running. Please come visit us. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if I can help her. Sure, why not? Eight leaves, one blade, and tea ceremony share many similarities. You say so. Well, actually, we need to carry a lot of things from the dorms. Would you be able to help us with that? Just <laughs> hallways and breakneck speed. Yeah, I guess. Marine helped remove the packages at the tear ceremony club's room. Marine helped organize the room until the other members showed up. The train station. I feel like they're confusing with another chapter or something. Okay, fair enough. Marine helped set up the room. Well, I was coming over anyway, so I figured I might as well. Now that I'm looking at it, you really managed to pull off that eastern flare in here. It gets me kind of nostalgic. Oh, does it perhaps remind you of Master Yoon Kai-Fi? What do you know about him? You don't even use a sword. I looked up things related. Oh my gosh, dude, she stalked him. Obligatory Blanc, Blanc, the Blanc, the Obligatory Bonk. Come from the family of a count in the province of La Mer, so I've heard many rumors about the Civil War. La Mer, huh? And from that family, from the family of the count, too. Duke Cayenne, the perpetrator of the Civil War, ruled that area. I guess it's no surpri not surprising that she's heard rumors. Hmm? Oh, I don't mean all that gossip about the Ashen Chevalier. And that was a Kappa one? Oh, gotcha. The rumors I've heard are about the old Class 7, your sister, and even the princess. <laughs> she's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> You apologize if I've given you the wrong impression. In any case, Maya knows a lot about Eastern culture already. I invited Kyrie alongside her. I learned a lot about these ceremonies myself from my grandfather, Count e Count Egret. E That's hard to say. But I've always been interested. He has a lot of hobbies and is well versed in items from other countries. Really now, sounds like a man of good taste. Learned a few things about the East myself from Master Kai Fi. If there's anything I can help you with in the future, please let me know. That's so. Thank you ever so much. Oh no, Reen. By the way, Instructor Reen, in order to thank you for today and for the future, I'd like to show you something. Reen, run, run. Guys, look at her face. Reen, run. Get out of there. Run. I don't have I don't have a run button on my on my stream deck. I don't like this dude. What are you doing? There are children watching this. What in the world? What in the world? What? Did that actually turn the screen off? Does that button actually work? It does turn off. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't continue the scene. I was just wondering if that, if that button actually worked. <laughs> That's funny. Total bonk. Total bonk. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, dude. What is she doing? I'm gonna wait outside. Yeah, run, dude. 
What she do? Put like a kimono on? Why are you closing? I mean, music. Are you serious? I'm trying to let you be the first person to see our uniform. Is it a kimono? Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Spam the bonk button, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least she went behind the screen, right? Because that could have went, that could have been really, really bad. Why, whatever do you mean? I just wanted you to be the first person to see it. That said, what did you imagine I was, dude? This is like, look, I've, I've seen a few episodes of Pretty Little Liars, right? She is like a lot of those characters in that game. Oh my gosh. She's a real tricky one. Breen, she's going to get you in trouble, dude. Unenroll her, kick her out of the school. Do, do whatever you got to do, man. She's going to get you in trouble. The barrier saved us. <laughs> I remember showed up at the club room to finish the preparations. They thanked Reen for his help as he left the room. Oh gosh, dude. Last thing we need is is that bond being strengthened. You said your kimono was a keepsake from your mother, right, Maya? That's right, this hair decoration as well. Mother loved Eastern culture, though. She's gone now. I'm glad I can enjoy it like she did. So that's your story. That's not, They're not going to add that to the notebook? All right. Dude, she's going to get Reen in trouble, 100%. All right, who else do we got? Does the um, does the bath thing take up a uh, a bonding point, or can we just go hang out with someone? <laughs> barrier intensifies. All right, I'll hit the barrier button. Should have used to cover the screen. Yeah, I guess I could have used the barrier button, right? All right, let me see here. Where is, what was it on? Was it on the school first floor? Even on here, is it? No, it's not. Doesn't take up your bonding points. Every Altina bond point. Okay, fair enough. Let's go talk to Altina first. The barrier music is muted. Huh. Okay, I'll have to fix that when I switch over. I'm sorry taking action to choose their clubs. It's only morning, but they all appear to be in such a hurry. Principal started putting them on the student council is looming over them. Have you found a good club for yourself yet? Been thinking about it since yesterday. I attempted to ask around campus, but could find no promising leads. Choosing a club is proving to be much more difficult mission than I could have anticipated. It's been a pretty difficult time. Should I give her a hand? All right then, Altina, I'll pick you. I'll help you pick your club. You told me I needed to decide on my own yesterday. True, but on second thought, this first hurdle might have been a bit too high for you. Start by going around and asking the others what they're thinking of doing, but the final decision needs to be yours. How's that sound? Understood. This will lower the difficulty level considerably. Thank you for your assistance. Green joined Altina in searching for a club that was a good fit for her. Went around asking students who had already begun their club activities, as well as those who were still looking for members. How funny would it be if she winded up on the student council? I mean, wouldn't that be the best fit for her? Because she's like so used to just taking orders and taking on missions. So wouldn't that kind of be the best fit for her? It was in the end up to Altina to narrow them down and make the final decision. His interest was ultimately piqued by. That's the way. Keep it up. The swimming, really? Huh. So close, you nearly had it. Nice work, Altina. Didn't make it to the end. True, but you were this close. First time swimming, right? Could have fooled me. Your form was excellent. You may have some aptitude for swimming. Being underwater feels oddly nostalgic to me. 
Nostalgia? Well, I suppose some people do say being underwater reminds them of being in the womb. Natural talent. I cannot afford to let her surpass me. Strange, I don't have any memory of being in my mother's womb. Well, yeah, I don't think most people do. <laughs> memory or no memory, I'm really looking forward to seeing you grow as a swimmer. Well, Tina, do you plan on joining the swimming club? The question is meaningless. We've exhausted all their options. What choice do I have? <laughs> it's not about eliminating options, it's about choosing what you like. Is this something you can keep doing? Something that you really want to do? Something that I want to do. It is. Swimming is a good full body exercise and seems to be an efficient way to improve my endurance. In my current situation, I believe that this club would be the most logical one to join. Leonora, may I be admitted to this club? It's not like it's my club or anything. We'd be happy to have you, Altina. Together shall we strive toward greatness. Probably choose a club myself. Good enough? Good enough. This is a good first step. Hopefully her life at the academy will help her grow. Does swimming feel nostalgic to her because she's a robot? Like in a Ghost in the Shell? And you're just kind of floating in a bath thing until you're taken online? Hmm? 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 What I'm thinking. What I'm thinking. She's a robot. Uh, who am I going to next? Yuna at the field, Aurelia in the art room, Ash at the library. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. I guess I could have fast traveled. Luis is late. Yeah, she is. So, Yuna, I need to ask, are you fine with being in the same club as me? I recall you tensing up when you found out I'm Erebonian nobility. Sorry for how I acted in the beginning, it's fine, really. But anyway, this is your first time playing, right? I'll have you know I won't be going down without a fight. Is that so? Bring it on. See, Yuna's getting along with everyone. Oh, because it gives a uh, nope thing. Okay. Art room... Where is the art room? Is that second floor? Tactical department? Special department? Terminal room? General art room? Anyone in here? Oh, she's over here. Principal Le Guin, what are you doing here? Though I may be principal here, I'm also in charge of the arts classes. That said, I only teach once a week. We've had two classes so far. They're infrequent, but each lesson is especially dense. I'm impressed. Not only are you a master swordsman, you're knowledgeable about music and art as well. It simply comes with being a noble. I hear you played during, or play guitar during your school festival. If the opportunity presents itself, perhaps I'll have you play for one of my classes. If you'd like me to play, I'll start getting some practice in. Okay. And then Ash's Where Library. Where was the library? Was that on this floor? Or was it on the first floor? No, that was the first floor, wasn't it? Yeah. A good deal for you too, you know, but, well... What's going on here? Ash, what are you doing to Tatiana? Ash wasn't doing anything wrong. He wasn't? That's right. I was interested in starting a certain club, but I was having a hard time finding members, so I offered to help her out and join, but as soon as I did, this chick just started stuttering. What club would this be? The literature club? No, don't join the, lo the literature club! No, that's where it all goes bad! I played Doki Doki Literature Club. I know where this goes. Tatiana's just the, uh, crap, what's that, what's that main girl's name? Is it Mona? Is that her name? She's the bad girl. She's gonna corrupt the game. You clean the eye, priest. What does PTFO mean? Post-traumatic... No, what does that mean? Back at the main camp is pretty unique. Okay, I think I understand. Tatiana, are you worried that Ash is just using you so he doesn't end up on the student council? If that's the case, then... That's not what I... knew it. Look, the principal was the one who made the clubs mandatory. I know there's no chance she's gonna let me get away with doing nothing. 
But if we write some reports and mail them off to literature magazines, she shouldn't give us any problems. It's not a bad idea. Well then, sounds like you two are all set. I'd be surprised that Ash ended up in the edit in the literature club, but it seems like things worked out, I think. He's gonna get stuck in some like other dimension now. Play trails to find out. Oh my gosh, of course. At least Dorothy isn't at the school. Gotcha. ETFO plays trails to find out. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, was that all the characters I needed to talk to? Was that all of them? There's no more stuff. I feel like when Sky Games are abbreviated. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Bath scene? Okay. Where was that at? We have a dorm. It's the clubhouse. The dorm and leaves? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's over here. So do you pick a character? Or how does I guess I'll find out. I should wash off all the sweat for my training. From what training? <laughs> you literally didn't do much this morning, my guy. He's a bit too indulgent to take a bath in the morning like this, but still. Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought they were coming into the guys where I'm like, no, what are we doing? Well, at least she's covered up. Military school is all about toughing things out. Yeah, not to mention that in the actual military, they've got one facility and the men and women need to take turns. That seems pretty new, huh? Apparently this building used to be a noble's mansion, but I heard that when they were building the branch campus, principal probably paid for the baths to be renovated out of her own pocket. Out of her own pocket, that's downright extravagant. Now that I think of it, she is a countess. I forget that sometimes. She's actually extremely wealthy. You make a barrier. I'm starting to wonder if it was her idea to leave the ceiling connected in the bath here. Probably to remove walls between men and women or something like that. We see her doing something like that. Well, I grew up with hot springs, so it doesn't really bother me at all. You're from a mirror, Bunny's very own hot springs paradise. I haven't been there since fall of two years ago. We come along with you in class seven. Yeah, instructor Sarah, Sharon, Angelica, and George were all there too. And Crow too. At least the Baron and his wife took such good care of all of us. Really missed that place. I'd love to go there with everyone again. School year's just begun and we don't know what to expect. We don't even know what future Erebony itself is headed towards. We persevere and overcome all the challenges before us. I know the chance will come again. We'll be able to go on a trip with all our friends and finally relax. You might have stayed talking in the bath too long. I'm going to head to the campus. How about you? I'm going to spend a day walking around and checking on the students. A lot of them are still trying to figure out what club to join. I forget today's technically a day off for us, so be sure to do something fun too, okay? Bottle of fruit milk. Yo, fruit milk ain't bad. That's not bad. One gift at Neo, okay. Fight Rachel and VM. Alright. What was that? You said there's a gift at Neo? Oh, the, uh, hold up, did we, we didn't buy that one thing, did we? Mizo Yokan, given to Altina as a gift. I don't really want to sell any of these. Hmm. Okay. Where's the place to fish at? 
Is there one of those here? Do fruits come from milk? No, milk comes from fruit. Milk comes from fruit. Cows come from milk. That's how it works. Was the bookstore keeper? Did some OVAs for them, audio dramas. Wait, do you get money from playing the card game? I know you get cards, but do you get money? What's the button you gotta push to challenge them? What's that? Oh, you can pull up the phone, that's cool. No, no. Now play advantage. Oh, you gotta talk to them first. Okay, you can battle people with cards, R2 to talk to them. Okay, that's what I did. Oh, there it goes. Okay, 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 okay. DLC Zarin powders to sell for money too, I think, if you have them. Red hair is more important than buying missables, yeah. Fish at the riverside. Hopefully, you don't sell off all the good items like last game. Hey, I did, at least I did it at the very end of the game, and I didn't really, uh. Didn't really need it. Why can I not? Okay, there we go. At least I did it um, at the very end of the game. <laughs> Let's begin. All right, what do we got here? Let's swap one of these out. Let me swap both out. Yeah, that's better. Okay, enemy's turn. Arma. Okay. These crystals do HP and attack plus one. You receive plus one net. Uh, your skill, its skill can be used again. What is this thing? There's two HP to target. This card can act twice. That's well, kind of a pain, isn't it? Save your money for the epilogue, like I do in all the games that don't have epilogues. I assume this one has one. <laughs> I mean, who knows? that I don't know if I really want to well that's only got one is that everything we've got one mana left so I guess we could put this one in the back do we have anything that hurts that when you have and stuff so that would be good against it That's rude. Okay. Let's use it on sister. Attack this. Yeah, because I don't want it healing, so let's attack this one. And then use that to attack. I'll take both out and I'll draw a card. Oh, it did nothing. Okay, that. Fair enough. Is this, this one isn't ranged, is it? Skill, don't need to do that because it's not. You, you can't attack twice. No, you can't. Okay. Can perform actions next turn. Can perform actions next turn. Might be playing too aggressive. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You can't move. None of these can move, so we're done. Okay. We got Blix out. He just buffed it. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. Playing too passive, really? Okay. Do that. That way we'll take it down a little bit. Keep buffing them up, shooting back. Okay. You can attack. And then that's not gonna do much. Okay. Wait, can you turn turbo on? Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay. All right, attack. Attack that, can attack that. Okay. So you've got two of those. And we're out of turns. Okay. job killed it with impunity wait what what could I have done what could I have done that would have worked I didn't get any merit for that did I no I didn't okay oh well what was I supposed to buy over here? How much was this thing? Just sell something that'll give me a hundred. Stores two battle points. Definitely not selling that. Definitely not selling that. Guess I'll sell one of those. You can all cringe in his bad decision. That's fine with me. <laughs> That's fine with me. That is totally fine with me. It's called Miso Yokan. It's a type of Eastern sweet. I figured you might like it. Well, I suppose I like most sweet things. All right, I shall try it. Increased to one, ADF increased by ten. Alright. Fortunately, the game is a joke in CS3. It gets more difficult in the next games. Beat Earth, which beats water, which beats fire, which beats heaven. So, wait a minute. Can you, like, even if their stats are different? Hinako Pecky, it's a collectible item. Where's that at? Oh, that's the wrong button. This is a collectible item? Okay. 
Where's the place that you fish at, though? Did that show up on the map? No, not that I'm seeing. Where do you fish at in this game? You collect and trade all the pecky, they give you a massive HP stat buff. We can just make a meme a character with infinite bulk. Okay. Huh. There's an well no, wait a minute, there's this right here. Oh, I see fish in the okay, water. Okay, here we go. There, there we go. We found it. Press circle when the arrow is pointing at the bar. Size of your catch depends on where the arrow is pointing when you press the button. You won't catch anything if the time gauge runs out or if you miss the bar. Got a bite. You don't catch anything, you won't use the bait. This is promising. Oh crap, now you gotta hold down that to reel in the fish. Let go of the button. When you hold that too long, the fish will break the line. Don't hold it long enough and the fish will escape. Fish gets angry, let go of that. When you've reeled the fish in all the way you've left, the left you've won. Huh. Interesting. I got it. Well, that's certainly better than what the last game was where you're spamming the different buttons. There. That's kind of cool. Got a bite. This is promising. This is like other fishing games that are uh, that I've played, like Cabela's and all that. It's kind of similar to those. Got a carp. There. Huh. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. I think I like this better. Not bad at all. I think I like this version way better. This is kind of nice. There. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. Best version of fishing, in my all. opinion. But you might take a little, might take a little bit to get used to it. Press down on the D-pad, it'll open a different map when you are done fishing. Also fishing Kuro 2, which is a bit more action-packed. Okay. There. I just like how this works. This is way Got better. Which one are these? This okay, it's promising. just a regular hit. This is way nicer than spamming the face buttons. Oh my gosh. I got it. A snow crab. What I did. Okay. Let's sell these. See what we can get for them. I'm from the Fisherman's Guild, honor one who's caught three or more kinds of fish. Double hook. You did all the work so long as you keep on fishing. That's enough thanks for me. Oh, that was selfish. Did I not do the right thing? Oh, it turns it into... Oh, okay. It turns it into these. That's what you... So you're not actually getting Mira for it. You're getting... Okay. Gotcha. When you get you material fish, gotcha. Small, medium, and big fish. It starts turning away. If you tap X, it will keep the fish in the same area without losing much line. Oh, really? Hmm, okay. It's good to know. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, well I guess we'll go to the conference room. That one item I should still be able to get, right? Because where was that one at? Wasn't there some kind of accessory I was supposed to get? 
Trade for accessories is better. You can sell them too. Where do you sell them at? Do you just do it over here? You buy my fish. Sorry, I'm behalf of both myself and my daughter for causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the branch campus had something to do with it too. If something else that comes up, feel free to let me know. Same if you need anything from me, just give me a holler. I'll help in any way I can. Oh, uh, you can probably do it over here, right? Under ingredients? No. Huh. You ever go to the bakery or that other house? No, I didn't. This one is available until the last chapter. Okay, gotcha. Been in yet? Okay. The bakery and cafe. Exhausted from flying around everywhere for work. Maybe they'll take a look inside. Oh, there's Kurt. We can't really hang out with him, though. A chessboard? Yes, as you can see, I purchased it at the bookstore. Your advice yesterday, I decided to consider my options. Trying to figure out what club to make, huh? What I see here, you seem to be pretty good at chess. Well, I used to play with my father and brother, so I do have some experience. But even then, no matter how much experience I have studying matches, it's about the most I can do on my own. Maybe I should expand my search beyond chess. Okay, so we can't hang out with him. A cafe and bakery that opened about half a year ago. We may not be that well known yet, but we're planning on expanding our repertoire. Feel free to stop by for a bite any time. What do you have? Okay. Special pancakes. What's so special about them? Hmm? Hmm? What are you putting in those pancakes? This might be a good opportunity to expand our, my customer base. I need to come up with a lineup that young kids would like quick. Okay. Anything back here? Nope. Right, fair enough. The peck you believe I can get it later, just don't care who needs HP. Even if it gets like 25k HP, realistically, it's so much worse than having 300k attack instead. Make money, buy food making items, and rinse and repeat for a little bit of funds. Oh, really? So if I. Do that here. Let's make all three. Let's do this. All right, I did it. Right, let's go sell these then. See, so you're playing as Electra. I'm playing as a uh, Adel, dude. But no, dude, CS3, I'm digging it, man. It's a good time. Okay, I just got 375. Okay, I don't know that's really enough to buy that other thing, though, because that thing was, like, what, over 1,000 or something? It's not bad. Okay, so we went into Radio Trish, so we didn't go in here, I don't think. No, we did go in here, because we talked to her. We got the book. We did that... That's way better. Mayor's home we didn't go into. Campus dorm we've been in. Okay, we'll go to the mayor's house. Once you make them buy items to make the food again, you net a bit of profit. Oh, for real? I did not know that. Okay, so that's what you meant. Okay. Can't think the people who believes enough. Nonsense, that is not something you need to worry about. At first, there was backlash over building a military facility here, but things have calmed down. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to bring it to my attention. I will do anything in my power to help you out. Thank you very much. What you got in these cabinets, Mayor? You got any books? Any items? Huh? You got anything? No, you got nothing. Your mirror doesn't even reflect, man. 
doesn't even reflect my guy. Why well, can't sell 20 again? You can start netting more than you're spending. It's not a bad exploit. Wait, for real? What did I need for that? Let me pull that back up. Let me see this. Mature cheese, flaky potato, coarse rock salt. But that's the wrong one. What am I doing? What am I doing? Is this where you buy ingredients from? No, where did I buy ingredients from? It's not here, is it? Okay, here we go. The mature cheese, flaky potato, horse rock salt. So you do what? Three of these? Let's do this. All right, I did it. So, no, dude, Thanks you're supposed to... Oh, 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 you made... Okay, I was like, dude, I gave you three ingredients. Three of each, you're supposed to make more stuff. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, that's funny. I'll mess with that off stream more. Fish guy sells ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna got a mirror exploit. Dude, that's funny. Okay, have we, I think we've gone into every single building. We've talked to most people here. Oh, sell to the old guy? How to make no progress in three hours to stream, yeah. Damn, okay, well, I'll mess with that off stream then. We can't even go down there. All right, let's go to the tactical conference room. Make some story progress. This is why I'm glad I'm going to be playing this off stream after this week. Oh my gosh. I played this for how, how long have I been streaming since like nine something? We're going till one. Yeah, man. So it's time for the briefing at three. Might be a good idea to take care of any business I've got before then. That's what you were selling money for. Wait, where's the Kanako Pecky at? Oh gosh. How much was that thing? Where even was it? Was it the boutique? No, it was not. Where was it at? Up alleviate some spoilers too. Uh, okay, old man, gotcha. All right, well I guess we'll just do that exploit then until we get enough stuff. Let's do this. All right. Thanks for waiting. wasn't much Mira. Sent me back to 475. The plan was I watched. That's awesome, Umbral. 300. Oh, it was 300? I thought it was way more than that. Oh my gosh. I was sitting here thinking it was like over a thousand. Oh my gosh, dude. I was like, crap, guys, we're going to be here a while. Never mind. Never mind. Umbral, wait, was CS2 like the first Trails game that you've seen? It's 
Still got time before the briefing at three. Before I do this, I'm gonna buy like 20 of each, then make it. Proverbs is a thousand? Wait, where was that at? Oh, for crying out loud. Proverbs is a thousand. Buy like 20 of each, then make it. Proverbs is 1,000. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna run the restroom real quick, and then I will be right back. Shop at the end. Oh, for real? So wait, Umbral, Umbral, wait. Are you playing Cold Steel? Like Cold Steel Three is your first Cold Steel game, or like your first Trails game? Let's start going through them again. Oh, okay, you play. Okay, gotcha. I hear what you're saying now. There's tons of missables. I feel like the memory goes down the more times we stream. Yo, I have the memory of a goldfish, straight up. Start over with the exploit, but to be honest, I would recommend not using the exploit. Just play the game, you'll be fine. No need to get infinite money and cheat the game. I used it back in Sky FC, but then I kind of forgot about it until now. Then was super broke for a while. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not, I think I'm just not going to worry about it. If there's stuff I miss, whatever, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, you started with Cold Steel, gotcha. I just had to buy that stupid red hair though, didn't I? Just had to buy this stupid red hair. Randy, principal really arrived and the briefing began at 3 p.m. as scheduled. Hi, are we starting this thing or what? I need to rush. Not even I know the details of our special lessons. Only our chief instructor and our contact are privy to that information. Apologize for the wait. Our contact? Someone else from the RMP? Oh, I keep you guys waiting. Sorry, my bad. Is that Lecter? Huh? That voice. No way. There's Lecter and there's Millie. Major Lecter. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> Milliam! Sup, Breen? Long time no see! <laughs> <laughs> and there's your traditional reunion tackle! <laughs> <laughs> I knew tagging along with Lecter would be a good idea! I've got another mission next week, and I didn't know when I'd get the chance to see you again. Grats on graduating, Reen. And <laughs> grats on getting crazy tall, too. Well, I've only grown like five reach. They did change your voice actor, didn't they? You don't seem like you've changed much. As energetic as ever, I see. I didn't catch that in the beginning, but now I do. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Milliam, it's been so long. Sheesh. Been a while, Schwarzer. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. But hey, I'm glad the place you got tossed to is working out so well for you. Not quite sure I understand what you're getting at, but it's good to see you again. It's been since the end of last year, right? Right you are. A pleasure seeing you again too, Miss Herschel. The Major's not giving you a hard time, is he? Uh, oh no. We're all fine here. If we could get to the matter at hand, Major Arundel. And can't forget you. It's been a while since we saw each other too. Hello, Orlando. I heard our leader asked you for quite the doozy of a favor. Sorry about that. <laughs> this isn't like you, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's a pain, but I still owe you one, so let's call it even, yeah? Well, that's a weight off my chest. Then that leaves... Oh, what's wrong, Ironblood? Oh, don't worry about me. Go ahead, continue with your reunions. Nope, I need to make an introduction now. Imperial Army Intelligence Division, Special Affairs, Major Lector Arundel. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I suppose this is the first time we've met like this, isn't it? Though considering the events that led me here, it certainly doesn't feel like it. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Wow! She's the Golden Rakshasa? Major Lector's certainly formidable himself, but... Uh... I can feel the tension in the air. Anyway, let's get to the main topic. We seem to have majors from both the RMP and Intelligence Division here today. Now then, what sort of fascinating things will you tell us, I wonder? So I was expecting that, not one bit. Textbook definition of a sacrificial pawn. So whose organization was it that thought this up? Chief Instructor Michael, Major Arundel? Intelligence Division in conjunction with the RMP. But well, to be perfectly honest, it came from Chancellor Gilith Osborne himself. Under the advisement of the Governor General Crossbell's Excellency, Rufus Alberea. This plan is just too much. There have been disturbances in the west half of the Empire. Multiple Jaeger Corps have been spotted, as well as agents of the Society Ouroboros. The newly established branch campus will be tasked with handling these threats? These kids just started school and you want to send them to engage in actual combat against threats like these? They're just being used as scapegoats, they'll die out there. He's absolutely right. However, this is one of the conditions that allowed for the establishment of this school in the first place. I'm sure you're all aware, tensions between the Empire and the Republic of Calvard have never been higher. Our entire eastern border sees skirmishes on a daily basis. Just the other day, a major battle took place in the Nord Highlands. How things get so bad in the first place? To be perfectly honest, the Intelligence Division and the RMP are both completely tied up at the moment. We're fighting an information war along the entire east of the Empire, including Crossbell and North Ambria. After this, I'm headed to the Kreutzen province myself for my mission. Is that something you should just blurt out? <laughs> That's what she does. As a result of all this, resources and troops have had to be diverted from the western half of the Empire. Thus, we are concerned there is a strong possibility we will be targeted for attack there. So That's where this plane comes into play. Zephyr, Red Constellation, or Bros. Serious Society Ouroboros, they were the ones pulling the strings during the Civil War during the Northern War. They were the cause of the turmoil in Crossbell and even the strange events in Laboral. In addition, the ten or so elite Jaeger Corps that at times work for Ouroboros have been spotted. According to our info at the Intelligence Division, all these groups appear to be on the move. This plan is necessary, we need to have some way to stop them. And of course, we will not be deploying the students to known lines of battle. While undertaking these field, ex these field exercises, we would have the most advanced technology such as Panzer Soldats on hand to protect them. In addition, the branch campus will also receive its very own armored train for use in these exercises. 
David, did you hear that? An armored train. Isn't that a little overkill? It had to cost a fortune. And I say we had a good budget. Besides, it won't be the only one. It won't be the only use for it. On top of all that, we've got the Ashen Chevalier, one of the best tacticians in Crossbell, and the former acting captain of the Courageous. Your students' lives will be in your hands too. This is messed up. Now I understand. Quite an interesting plan. Training exercises that allow us to prepare for and deter an invisible threat. It even be said it embodies both the world as a battlefield and foundation of the world philosophies of our school. Thor's Branch Campus acknowledges the necessity for this plan. Tell us where and when the first field exercise will be held. Take place in the south of the Sutherland Province near St. Ark. The win will be Friday night, April 21st. We'll arrive there via the armored train Durflinger. It's an interesting name. Hmm. But will he suplex it? <laughs> I got that reference. That would be that would be awesome. No, there's nothing we could have done, but this whole thing still makes me feel bad. I had no idea this was such a big operation. Now I feel like I showed up at a real bad time for you guys. It's not your fault, Milliam. It's all decided the minute this campus was founded, and even I've noticed the western side of the Empire is looking a little thin. Not a good JRPG unless you can suplex the train, absolutely. Someone from the intelligence division, I still feel kind of bad. If I'd known about this, I could have given you a heads up through USIS or something. That probably wouldn't have been a great idea. Here is a pretty confidential information. You're still here? Director Herschel, I'll need you to arrange our travel plans early next week. Heading home already, Lecter? quite yet. I need to transfer over some info from the intelligence division. Take a little while. Find something to keep yourself busy in the meantime. Actually, hey, Schwartzer, think you can babysit for a bit? Hey, why are you treating me like I'm some kid? <laughs> Those eyes, dude. Whatever, I guess it's fine as long as Rena's showing me around. No discipline at all. Just try not to cause any trouble, understood? I'll see you later. Have fun. CS1 did field trips, we gotta do it too, yeah. I'm off to the library to do some research. There are some documents I want to investigate for the field exercises. Don't work yourself too hard. All right, Prez, you always go full throttle when it comes to stuff like this. You gotta take it easy sometimes. I'll try to be careful. Thanks, you two. See you later. If you need anything, please give me a call. Get the word with the class Prez. Looks like she's working herself to the bone with everyone's requests as usual. Pretty much, I've been relying on her too. Hopefully she'll let me repay the favor. Anyway, how about I show you around the campus in town? The bonding points. Oh yeah, because it's the evening. That's right. Show Milliam around leaves. I guess we'll just go to the campus entrance and then go. Do we have multiple things in here? Looks that way. Pablo at the Academy Roof, one bonding event, talk to Monk, go into the bath, VM match for Sydney at the clubhouse. Great dialogue with a lot of characters in town? Okay. Talk to Monk here since I've seen that. In quite a while, hasn't it? About a year or so, yeah, you look better than ever, Monk. You even seem a bit happier. Been getting out more since I started working here. Anyway, Rin, you seem to be getting around a lot, just like when you were a student. Are you planning on taking your class anywhere outside of leaves? Rin told Monk about the field exercises. Now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in class seven used to do. I'm looking forward to all the good stories I'll be able to tell on the radio. 
Always reference our exploits in the old class seven in your radio material. I always add my own little twist to all your little escapades, but I'm bummed that I can't really interview the students. Unless a certain someone would be willing to provide me with a story. I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but I, if you could give me some good material to work with, my job would be a lot easier. Can you help me spice things up at Radio Trista? It'd be great. Thanks, Reen. Nothing like having friends to help you out. Yeah, pretty good at negotiating. <laughs> If you don't want to take your time, I'd recommend dropping an additional save to check out later. Fair enough. We got, what, 45 minutes left? If I haven't saved recently, though, let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll put this save here, and we'll go do that. Pablo at the Academy Roof. Uh, no, nah, it's already evening. I'm gonna end up on the student council at this rate. What's he on on about? <laughs> Dr. Reen, and who are you? Milliam, I'm one of Reen's classmates. I'm just showing around the campus. By the way, if you need some advice, I'd be happy to help. But you're having some trouble choosing a club. I'm a savior. Please give me. Please. What did I say? Please give a hand. G's a hand? You gotta pick your club. Shouldn't that be fun? Right now I've got no... I should not have hit X that soon. Gotta start all over for square one. What do you mean? How do you mean? Well, I've actually got a wee bit of a reputation for being pure into trains and railways. I wanted to start a railway club, but couldn't find anyone, none else to join. I'm just gonna read this normal. I was running out of time, so I went to the principal to ask if I could start a club by myself. Didn't it take her long to shoot me down and tell me I'm a boring guy, though. <laughs> Started Gan at all this about how club she started Gan at all this about how club activities are for demonstrating the composure of a citizen of the Empire. And how will you accomplish that sitting around doing something you're already skilled at, she says to me. It definitely sounds like her, but if you don't want to end up in the student council, you need to come up with an alternative. You mean pick me. What about a cooking club? That's what I did, and it was super fun. You get to eat a bunch of yummy stuff too. Doesn't sound half bad, actually. Now that you mention, I hear Sandy's starting up a cooking club. Then again, I'd probably be more keen on eating the food than cooking it. Oh, that's not good, then. There are a lot of other available clubs, too, right? You didn't want to join any of those? Well, I don't really fancy any of the other clubs, to be honest. None of them really sing to my heart the way that the same way trains do. Press up on the D-pad? Oh, yeah, I forgot that there's a... Dude, I swear I have the... Memory of a freaking goldfish. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I have the memory of a goldfish. Port Bob, thanks for looking out. Makes me think of our performance for the school festival. We really sing our hearts out there. I can picture the stage like it was just yesterday. Yeah, me too. What do you do for your school festival? All of us in the old class seven did a musical performance. We dressed up and played some rock music. Uh, what? And playing rock music sounds pure dead B.A. Seem pretty fired up about that. Are you that interested in rock music, Pablo? I listen to it quite a bit. Sounds that shake your soul like a surging wave yet feel familiar and nostalgic too, just like the sound of a train chugging along the tracks. Seems the thing about you being a train nut wasn't an exaggeration. You do have something else you're interested in besides trains. Don't music clubs have to be like orchestras and the like? Not necessarily. Other schools might require that, but here at the branch campus, the clubs are left mostly to the students. You make it more of a modern music club. If you start looking now, you might be able to get some more members. Modern music club sounds pretty interesting. Heck yeah, it sounds super cool. Let me get moving. It until the end of the day, I'm gonna go around asking everyone and want to join. You don't need the miss part. Will be able to find anyone on his own this late in the day? Battle for the Stroke Ages? What? Battle for the Stroke Ages? 
feels like to have a stroke read pablo's text <laughs> oh i mean yeah let's decide how should we spread out the game is pretty big so leave that to me ask around at the dorm later so you check the town for me Alright, so I guess we're going into town. Y'all ain't kidding. It definitely is like I'm having a stroke here. Yeah, I don't recognize that. I don't recognize the NPC that would have uh, loved trains. It's already evening. What am I going to do? Have a moment? Probably not. Who in the world is that? Just seen that coming. Modern music club, huh? Pablo's desperate for members, so I should join. Is that it? I'm not kind of you, instructor. If you don't want to join, that's perfectly fine, too. If you're considering another club, then too bad for Pablo. I'd be more than happy to give you advice either way. If it's too difficult to ask the guys, I can do it for you. No, it's not like that. If you want to do it, then you should just jump in already. I mean, I am a little bit interested. You heard of Northern Rock? Well, just the name. It's popular in Remifaria, Northern Ambria, and your eye. Pretty much the whole north region of Western Zemuria. It's a specific subgenre of rock, right? I'm a little familiar with rock, but not enough to know about any trends in it. You a fan of it? Well, somewhat. I can also play a little guitar a little. Well, there you go. It's decided. You go talk to him about it. Sounds good. If I had to guess, I'd say Pablo is just about done going around the campus by now. I'm gonna call him my Arcus too. Pablo told them he'd also been able to find a new prospective club members across campus. They decided to gather everyone together on the main building's rooftop. I asked you, Gustav, are you interested in rock music too? I'm from the near, from near the Aragon mine, so Northern Ambria and Uriah are practically our neighbors. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I grew up surrounded by people who were fans of Northern rock. I'm a little novice when it comes to instruments. Oh, wait, can you play any instruments, Pablo? Can't say I've got any experience, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Should be no bother. You'll ask someone with some experience to show us the ropes, though. Didn't say I'd join yet. Oh, I take it you're fine with joining the student council, then? No. Then you'll just have to suck it up and give it a bash. My best not to bother you. Guess I've got no choice. Very well, I'll join the Modern Music Club. Fun fact, Reen's played guitar before, so if you need some tips, go and bug him anytime. Guess we can ask for a cheeky bit of help now and then. Not how much help I can be, but I'll see what I can do. This is the start oh, of the modern thanks, music Lords. club. Help and eat? The origins of the greatest band in Zamuria. Often do you call your students phones, Logan? Never. Never. funny because I used to be a youth pastor and so a lot of those students did have my number and then like they would uh, text me randomly when I was a teacher I'm like nope blocking you we're not doing this we are not doing this all right what else was I supposed to do one bonding event talk to monk we did that go in the bath VM match versus Sydney at the clubhouse Bonding event, talk to Monk, go in the bathhouse. Okay. Speaking of feeling like you're having a stroke, Logan, has anyone ever really been far, even has decided to use, even go, want to do? What did you say? Speaking of feeling like you're having a stroke, Logan, has anyone really been far, even as decided to use, even go, want to do, look more like. Spike, did you have a stroke just now? What the heck was that? And Reen barging into a student's rooms and calling him on the phone is out of bounds. A hundred percent. hundred percent, but not intentional, yeah. hundred percent. It's weird. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. If Reen was a youth pastor, it would make more sense. But uh, he's a teacher, so it doesn't make as much sense. All right, who do we got bonding events with? We can go talk to Yuna. We can go talk to Toa. 
Let's go... A really old meme? What is? Stuff being out of bounds? I guess we can go talk to Toa. Where's she at? First floor? Or no, let's go talk to... Go talk to Yuna with Millie. Green does a lot of head padding. It's kind of his thing, isn't it? Straight up wrong open, yeah. Has anyone really been so far as etc.? Oh. <laughs> I've never heard of that meme. It gets worse? Oh my gosh, Reen. Just seeing how the racket felt to swing. Luis is going to teach me how to play tennis later so we can start a tennis club. Get the popular sport in Rimaferia. You got great motor skills, so that'll be perfect for you. Thanks, I guess. By the way, who's she? I've never seen her before. She's a cute little thing, isn't she? Are you helping her find her parents or something? Oh no, she's... You want to ring students? Nice to meet you. My name is Milliam Orion. I'm Tilly's big sis and one of the veteran class seveners. Veteran class sevener and Orion is. Seriously, who is she? Well, it'll take a while to explain everything. You seem busy, so I'll give you the whole story another time. Okay, then. Anyway, I need to get back to practice. See you later. Get at least the basic form down before we start our club stuff. Looks like she's really into it. It'd be great if I could help her out somehow. Do you head pat your students like No. No. If they come up and try to hug me, I like like move away. Say Persona 5 was worse? Well. Yeah. Big getaway to help. Sorry, Millen, but do you mind if we put a pause on the tour for a bit? Wait, Reen are you? Typical Reen, fine, I'm gonna help too. But no, I don't head pat my students. At all. Why wow, you're used? Yeah, dude. I hate hugs. I hate them. It's like students will try to high five me and I'll just look at them like, no. No. It's more fun because they get really annoyed when I reject their high fives or like a fist bump or something. I'm like, no, just go away. <laughs> so you get fired if you don't move away basically I think you finally noticed another one over there out of the way coming through <laughs> Chups, you yeah you've got the the disparity between the two games down pat no pun intended Picking up after me the whole time. I was wondering why the basket wasn't running out of balls. You really didn't notice this at all. That's some serious concentration. Watching you for a while, it's amazing how much. I'm supposed to reject the call, but I didn't do it. It's amazing how much better you got in such a short time. It's gonna be like the tennis club's off to a promising start. I don't have to owe you anything for this. You don't owe me a thing. I told you yesterday I was planning to help with your guys' club activities. William helped out too. Only did what an instructor would be expected to do. Anyway, good job and good luck with the tennis club. If you run into any problems, just let me know. Still many barriers between Crossbell and its future. <laughs> barriers, she says. Did I unmute that sound? Barriers, she says. Barriers? Take a screenshot of that, why not? Barriers and all that. Anything but barriers. 
Power dynamic is the only real issue. To be fair, part of why age is an issue is power dynamic. Yeah. But we will overcome them. You know, I want you to fight and struggle to overcome your own barriers too. And if anything happens, I'll come running, I promise. Why does he have to remind me of him? You know, how did you feel knowing that Reen fought Lloyd? You two sure seem closer all of a sudden. Is barriers a thing that characters wielding Tompas have to keep getting over? Absolutely. It's part, it comes with the Tompas. When you buy them, it comes on the box. All right. What else we gotta do? Show her around leaves. You got for this story, but I might end the stream here just because it's getting close to one. If the top is where the barriers all along, all along, yeah, all wrong. What is my? What is with words? Recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. <laughs> Proud of you for picking your club. I hope you have fun swimming with Leonora and the others. Well, it won't be official until the school approves it. Glad you were able to make a decision. Okay, I'll cheer you on too. I'll try to persevere for as long as I can. How was your brief? <laughs> that voice. Hey, Tilly, how you been? <laughs> Maybe maybe that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> what is she doing here? No, no, Altina, she's just here on business. I was giving her a tour around the city. Long time no see, Tilly. Last time I saw you was that joint mission last year. How's Sammy doing? Yes, it has been a while. And can you stop calling me, Tilly? But your name's kind of hard to say, you know. You can call us Millie and Lammy. <laughs> Never accepted your name for Clem Celeste. <laughs> All wrong equals strong. Yeah. Easier to remember. Million seems happy at least. I heard they did some missions together last year. Hello, this is Re. You don't need to tell me your name. I know who I called. <laughs> it's Professor Schmidt. Not the briefing is over. You must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to Einhell Keep. Oh, Keep from our orienteering exercise? I'm sorry, but I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. Child from the Intelligence Division? Perfect. Bring her with you. Come here the moment you're ready. Don't keep me waiting. What if I made him wait? I don't really know, but... Green told Million about Schmidt's call. Well, that place sounds fun, so should we get going? You sure, Million? What about the tour? That's fine. I already got to see Tilly, and I want to see Old Man Schmidt, too. Well, he did make it seem like it's important. All right, then. Once we're ready, I will accompany you. He said the child from the Intelligence Division. That could refer to me as well. Besides, he didn't specify the number of people. Million, Tilly, Lammy, and Sammy were the ultimate quartet. Please don't affiliate me with you. <laughs> Backwashing time? Is it really? I'm ready to go to the keep. I'll come talk to you. I'm just, I have some pancakes to work through, so take your time. I'll proceed to stand by. Join Altina and head to the keep to advance the main story. Please note that once you do, any bonding events, quests, and sub events for the current day will disappear. I love how events goes off of <laughs> off of the uh, the panel there. Can I just talk to Altina? Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. No, not yet. Okay, that scared me a little bit because I thought I'd... Okay. Okay. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Back washing time? Bath time? Really? Wait.
Wait, was it? No. This is safe for work, isn't it? Do I need to cut off the screen? Y'all promise this isn't gonna get weird? Y'all promise this won't get weird? Take Milliam to see Rosine, they know each other, remember? I didn't even think of that. It won't get weird until May 14th. All right. Okay. Alright, I guess I can knock this out, go talk to Rosine, and then we'll end the stream. There's a bath, it's split up between boys and girls. A bath here? That's so cool. Just a quick dip will be fine. I don't think anything was truly not safe for work. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Surely they'll separate it. Could also have goldfish memory. That would make two of us. Way bigger than I expected. That general lady have all this built? But I've heard we only had showers in the old class seven dorm, so this is pretty nice. I had a blast at a mirror. Playing around with those sheep monsters was fun too. All over the continent for your missions, right? You visited any other hot springs or baths? All the time I went to a spa with Claire and Heimdall just the other day. Also try out the bath at Eustace's mansion, it's super duper huge. I didn't become join, but he flat out refused. <laughs> no surprise there, you could probably stand to be a bit more modest. But play sometime too. Even when we were at the same missions, we never had time to play. Combat shells too. I bet Millie and Tilly with Lamy and Sammy together will form a band and solve mysteries. Yes, will come though. I'm having trouble imagining Harry Gatlin or Climb Solas holding instruments. Oh yeah. Rain, rain, to go. Let's get this tour back on track. All right, I hear you. All right, and then the, is there any weird interaction with these characters? I'm scared of being in a club by myself with Ash, but I'll try my best. Don't worry, I'll be giving you moral support. You can read the literature like this? It can't be, where did you get this? A little chill in there, something ominous just happened. It's a Colleen Hoover book. That's what it is, the Colleen Hoover book. Didn't think we'd notice, but we did. Didn't think we would notice, but we did. So it looks like you really did become a sister. Way to go. What a wonderful surprise. It's really been too long. I had no idea you were in leaves. Just a little stop on my mission for the intelligence division. Now that I get a good look at you, Rosine, did you get taller? You're... Dang it, Millie. Could you please stop staring? <laughs> stop harassing the nun. Oh, we really should sit down and talk about you know what next time. Agreed next time for sure. Oh, Millie. It's worse. It's a Dorothy book. She made, she wrote books. She wasn't doing that in the last game, right? Or we, no, wait, she was writing a book, wasn't she? I think that's it, right? No, no, no. You guys said the card game with someone. Up here. Sydney at the clubhouse. Do you mean dorm? No, there it is.
Pro Bush for the Literature Club in the first game. Is she really? I must not have talked to her a whole lot. Club together, I'll definitely be able to figure out your secret to being popular with the ladies. <laughs> what now? At least they've got their club figured out. Heard from Rachel that you started playing Vantage Masters. Didn't realize you and Rachel were acquainted. Yeah, I keep tabs on all the pretty ladies in town. I picked up Vantage Masters so I can get to know her better. If you have some free time, please play me. I sharpen up so I can sweep Rachel off her feet. Gosh. Uh, edit decks. Are there any other ones here? Or is that it? Isn't that who I've already got in there, though? Let's see what we've All got right. here. Game on. I get to go first. There's two HP to the target. This can act twice. Okay. Out of mana? Yeah, not enough. Okay. Okay. Water against fire. can only use its skill once, you must use a magic crystal. Okay. extra card though I don't know if I really want to do that okay you can't do anything you can't do anything you can't attack but I don't really want them drawing cards though like that would be a bad idea We'll take him out though, Wendy. Earth against water. I guess it doesn't matter. I probably should have used it. Well, I guess that's what I get for playing it safe. You can't use the skill. Can't do anything, you can't do anything. Okay. They're gonna go down zero. That's heavenly against fire, fire would kill that. 
Earth against fire. Hill gets a draw. You let it kill your car with impunity. Gotcha. Might as well attack. What is their card ability? None? Okay. Okay. Can't do anything. Move. Heaven over Earth. Okay. Is there anything else I can do? It looks like not. Oh, I need to have turbo on. What am I doing? Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Okay. Let's do this. Move. Okay. three cards for your victory all right 1247 is the next thing i'm gonna start like a pretty big story thing or is this where i need to end the stream for today If it's going to start a big story thing, then I'm just going to end the stream here. It's pretty long. All right. I'll save that for tomorrow then. I'll save that for tomorrow. Previous dungeon you did? Okay. Yeah, we'll save it for tomorrow then. We'll do that then. We'll do that then. We'll do that then. All right, fair enough. Well, good deal, man. I feel like we got a pretty good lay of the land for leaves. We're learning more about the game. We got some card stuff going on. That's not that bad. So, I think it's uh, I think, I think it was a good stream. <laughs> but yeah, it's it is kind of like. How to not really make much progress in Cold Steel 3, the stream. We've been streaming for, what, three and a half hours, and I feel like we still did a lot of a lot of side quests. We met some characters, saw some familiar faces, got the fishing unlocked, got the card game unlocked, learned to exploit. So, good amount of stuff. Good amount of stuff. Usually, if you have that thought, it's probably going to be long. I've made those mistakes too often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we'll pick it up tomorrow. We'll pick it up tomorrow where we uh, go into the dungeon, uh, check it out, and then go from uh, go from there a little bit. So, should be a good time. We know Yuna, Altina, and Musa slightly more. Yeah, unfortunately, we know Musa slightly more. How Rosina's grown since the last... <laughs> how she's grown, huh? How she's grown, he says. But, yeah. Well, that being said, y'all, this is good. This is fun. I'm I'm still really enjoying the game. I'm still having fun with it. It's a it's a good time. I like the changes. I like the way the game looks. I like the quality of life improvements. I love that the active the the log thing is in there of the uh, past chats and all that. I like that. So it's pretty cool. I could do without the uh, the bathhouse stuff, but it is what it is. It is what it is. You're streaming tomorrow? Oh, no, that's right. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I'm not. So Wednesday. Wednesday is when we'll pick it back up. My bad. It's a good thing y'all pointed that out. No, Wednesday is when I'll stream again. That's right. Tomorrow won't be because I've got stuff I need to take care of. 
So Wednesday is when I'll be streaming again. Um, but yeah, um, if you're new and you'd like to know when I'm streaming next, I mean, obviously I just said Wednesday, but there's a community post uh, that's up. It gives the schedule for this week. And so you can go check that out and, let, and you'll be able to be up to date on when I am streaming uh, again. But yeah, y'all, this is a good stream this morning. Had a lot of fun. Probably going to play that card game a little bit off stream, to be honest. Uh, just so I can, I don't know, maybe get some new cards. Understand a little bit better. Understand how the kind of rock, paper, scissors sort of thing works with the elements. But yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Anyway, y'all. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for hanging out in chat. Thank you for the good conversations. Thank you for the help with the different things that came up. And uh, yeah, thank you for the jokes as well. It's always a good time. It's always a good time. Thanks for the stream. We will catch you later. Get the fishing joke because you are in the stream. Hmm. 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 Wait, what fishing joke? Did someone say a fishing joke? Where's the fishing joke at? I must have missed that. Well, anyway. Y'all, again, thank you for being here this morning. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for keeping things, you know, non-spoilery. Appreciate it. And I will see y'all on Wednesday. With that being said, y'all have a great rest of your Monday. Y'all have a great rest of your week. And I will see you on Wednesday.